right, and hello and good day, everybody. Welcome back. Long time no see. You know, it's been a little while since I streamed. I had a little week off there to take care of some stuff last weekend. But we're back in uh, Minecraft Sky Factory 4 uh, with our continuing mission to complete all of the attainable achievements in the game. Because that would be cool if we did. Um, so let's see, what did I do since last time you were here? Mostly I just let things run. Uh, I did double up on the amount of, uh, diamond I'm melting. We're making liquid diamond. I added a second one melter here, so plenty of that going. Um, I had to get some pink slime because I needed it for a pink slime ingot. Because I tried something... And, oh boy, did it not work out well for me. Okay. First of all, here's what we're working on, right? Getting this big old fusion reactor up and going. That's our primary goal. This one is working just fine and dandy. And I've been trying to let the helium-3 build up. Because, for some reason, that is musing it faster than this is making it. When I, when I fired it up last time which I didn't have before, and I built these to the exact same sizes as the last time I got this to work. So I'm not exactly sure what's causing that. But, um, <laughs> I, uh, we were having some problems with our deuterium. I went ahead and packed this room full of machines, so now we are producing deuterium faster than we are using it, which is nice. We're already in that way with liquid hydrogen. Got plenty of that. We got a billion of that already rolling. And the liquid diamond's getting up there. It doesn't seem like a lot, but fortunately it's not really using much. Now, I did shut off the fission reactor. And I'll explain why here in just a moment. This is still running because it's such a turd to get going again. Actually, it's mostly charged. I could fire it back up again if I wanted to. We may have to turn that off. So I needed power to run all these little fluxy-poos to get these reactors working. Very important business. And there was a concern of what happens if our power storage gets full. Will the reactor shut off? Well, no. It's full of power. Uh, which means my power storage is full as well. And boy, did we have a problem with that. So I saw that this had gotten full. And I was like, Huh. I better uh, I better do something about that. That's probably bad. Or so I thought. So I'm like, how can I get a bunch of power other, other than spending hours making more storage cells? I'm like, you know, someone recommended a great idea. Great idea. And I was like, let's try that. That is not the great idea. The great idea was in here. Where did it go? Uh, there it is. An infinity drill. The idea was that if we put an infinity drill inside of our induction matrix, it would charge up. And it takes a ton of power to charge an infinity drill. Uh, like a lot. More than this would hold. Um, to get it all maxed out. And um, that would be kind of like a, a power sink, right? A toilet, if you will. We're flushing it down the drain. By the way, if you're having problems with my volume, I did fix with some settings. Please let me know, and I'll adjust them. Um, so, yes, I went ahead, and I put the Infinity Drill inside. Nearly immediately, it hit Legendary Tier. I mean, it shot enough power in there to fill it, because it levels up, basically, the Infinity Drill. If you've never seen any of the Infinity Tools, the Infinity Drill starts at poor, and if you put 4 million RF in it, it goes to the next tier, right? So we, we go again, and it goes up to 16 million, and so on and so forth. So I shot all the way up to legendary within like the first 30 freaking seconds. It was very fast, just by placing it aside. There's an artifact one, and then there's another artifact one. I don't know what the difference is. Uh, except this one says shiny, so I don't, I don't know. But I got the legendary, and as you can see, there's a chunk of power in there. A lot. 
of power in there. Let's see. Three million, billion, three trillion power already inside of this infinity drill. And I'm like, oh, well, that's surely got to fix my problem. That has totally got to fix things for me. Wrong, because then I let it sit for about 30 minutes, and I came back, and we'd experienced a meltdown. And this reactor was popping and exploding, and the clipper fluid was falling out of the bottom. It, it, would, it, would, it would explode, but just enough to blow up a couple of the glass things, and then it would just leak out. Um, and I checked the induction matrix. Still plenty of power in it. But it couldn't transfer power to all of the flux points and load power into the infinity drill at the same time. It could only... You, I, I don't know why. But I took the infinity drill out and corrected the issue, fired it back up, has been fine ever since. So at this point, uh, I would say, even though it was off camera, I have confirmed you do not want to put an infinity drill in your induction matrix if you are trying to run a reactor, a fusion reactor of this nature. So, yes, there was that. Uh, let's see, what else we got? So, other than that, we're going to try to get this fusion reactor running today. We're going to try. I make no promises. We have everything we need. We just have to turn it on and let it go, basically. Now, I don't think I want the flux plug to be on there yet. Let's pull that off. I think that's for taking the power out. I need it to power up and stuff. So we've got to get it pretty, pretty high. We need to get it to about 99% efficiency around there in order to be able to hit the amount of power per tick or RF per tick that we need to get the achievement, which is 3,333,333. So I'm going to fire it up and we're going to see if it works. Um, and let it let it start to charge while I do some building today. Now it's off. It was on before. Now it's off. Oh, I didn't put the power on top. That's right. I got to put a power thing on top to get it charging. And then everything happens. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and start it. Let's get us a fluxy poo and put this drill away before I mess something up with it. That is not how you spell flux. How was everyone's last week or so? Anybody do anything cool? Flux point, flux plug. Plug away for now. Point. Okay. Our temperature is increasing, albeit very slowly. It just flew past my head. Um, we're at zero efficiency. Now, again, we may have too much coolant. I'm not sure yet. We're going to let this run for a little bit and see. But we've got to get this up to the point that it kicks in. Hello, Miss Teresa. By the way, everybody, Miss Teresa is uh, raising funds for Extra Life this year. Um, and that is her link po pinned to the top of chat. Uh, if you would like to make a donation towards Teresa's Extra Life, she's about $75 shy of hitting her goal. And it would be super cool if you would consider doing so. I will point it out multiple times throughout the stream. Okay, so we got to get this he heated up to get it to turn on, I believe. Let me see. Is it already making bio biofuel? No, it's not producing anything. Okay, so it's not technically on yet. Um, Fishy zero, look at hydrogen and helium. We got the two fuels. It's draining out when it does make something. All right, this just has to hit the 8,000, and then... Then things begin. And hopefully we won't have a meltdown. Again, I had a meltdown off camera and I had to repair a bunch of stuff. I mean, it only damaged this reactor itself. And it happened in the middle. Basically what happened was right around here it started exploding on three sides. This side, this side, and this side. This side over here stayed fine. Dollywood. Oh, okay. There you go. My family used to work at Dollywood and... Uh, I used to go there a lot. I haven't been there in years, mind you, now. When my stepdad stopped working there, I stopped getting free season passes. <laughs> that was something I'm going to rush to pay to. Neither my wife and I are country music fans. Um, and we're, I'm not a, fran, a fan of any form of like roller coaster or heights. So it eliminates a lot of the stuff. Although the food there is exceptional. 
Hey, Lex. The food is exceptional at Dollywood. They got these uh, candy-covered peanuts there of different flavors that are awesome. They, have, they also have Dippin' Dot stands. At least they used to. That's what my sister did. My sister sold Dippin' Dots for a while. Fortunately, it was while working at Dollywood. She was trying to carry some ice cream, a big tub of ice cream, down the stairs and fell and blew out her knee, which... Uh, Ruined her chance of making the women's Olympic hockey team, which which she was a contender. She'd already been invited. Uh, uses a singularity. Yep, we're going to do that one too. That's the matter overdrive one. The matter overdrive one can be very glitchy and cause a lot of lag on your world. So it's one. Of, it's not hard to make. It's the last one we're going to make. Uh, we're it's last last thing. There's no. There's an achievement for it. <clears throat> uh, right here. The matter overdrive fusion reactor that uses the singularity. So 100%, 100%, we are going to do that. It is an achievement that needs to be done. I'm waiting for this to top off so we can see what's 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 happening. Kettle corn and cinnamon bread. I don't know if I've ever had the cinnamon bread. Not a not a huge fan of kettle corn. I mean, like it's all right. I don't eat a lot of popcorn either. I don't like the kernels. I like puff corn. Which is like a chip type thing, but it's very good. But yes, matter overdrive reactor. That one we make on almost every playthrough because it's a, it's actually like I said, it's not hard at all. Um, it just has the capability of eating up your world if you build it too close to your house. <clears throat> the biggest problem with it is, is it creates a gravitational pull that pulls things into the singularity, um, and. You throw things in the singularity to make it bigger to get it big enough to get the achievement. Diamond blocks, emerald blocks, any type of compacted blocks are great for that. We'll be doing all those things. The problem is if you make it too big, then it starts yanking anything you have to get the power out. Like normally I put a flux on there, right? Pull the power out of it. But it's so strong it rips the flux plug out. Now I got no way to get power out of the thing. So that gets the achievement, but you gotta be careful not to make it too, too powerful. Okay. All right, here we go, here we go. Let's see, efficiency is at zero. Temperature is climbing. We are active cooling is currently 560%. Good Lord. I wasn't expecting that. Did it stop? Sometimes the noise just stops. That doesn't. This is gonna take forever. I've got it too cold. It's too cold. Hmm. The temperature change is not dropping yet. I need it to go up so it'll start dropping. The active cooling rate is horrendous. Yeah, but it is still heating up though. The temperature is still going. I'm interested that the temperature change is 21,000, but I'm cooling at 28,000, but the number's still going up. How is that possible? If my cooling's 28,000, but it's only going up 21, basically 22,000, how is it the number is still climbing for temperature? Yeah, we've already taken one coolant offline. And we can do, I could do another, I've only got eight of them. There's two on each corner, and one of them's already offline. I already dropped it once. Uh, which one is this? Should glow. Oh, it's this one right here. So, I pulled that one out. It's one reason I like to use these, is it's easy to see which one's which. But I could pull a, a little bit more. Alright, let's go ahead and pull another one. I'd like to try to get the bottom one on, or my top one on the other side. Let me see. If I do bottom here, top, bottom, top. That makes sense. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out which ones those are. This one is the top one. So I want that one to stay where it is. That one is top on the other side. So that's where I want it to be the bottom one. Again. Okay, so that's the top one. That's one I want out. 
pull that one out. So you have top, bottom. Top, bottom, top, bottom. Okay. Let's uh, see. I want to see what moving one does. 560. That's still the same amount of number. Interesting. We may have to go look at my other reactor just to see if by any by any chance uh, see. That's the bottom one. I don't want that one. That one's fine. Uh, that's a bottom one. No, I don't want that one. That's a bottom one. Yes. That's the that's the bottom one I wanted. Okay, so there's a bottom one. I need one more top one. Should be this one. Yes. Okay, so we pulled four out. Let's see what that does. Uh, 560% still. Okay. It is still climbing. But we're, we're still at an efficiency of 0%. Energy is starting to climb, though. Which is fine. I can pull that out with a flux point in, or flux plug in a minute. Uh, this one holds a lot. I'm not super worried it's going to fill right off the bat. It's only made making 75 RF per tick. So do I take more coolant off? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't... We could be we could be going to blow ourselves up if I take too many of these off. All right, let's just test something real quick. Okay, I have two going to the same one. How is that even possible? Four, four. Not eight. That's right. Let's see what it says when there's zero coolant. Five hundred and sixty percent. Oh, because there's still coolant in them. That makes sense. Yeah, I gotta wait for it to drain out a little bit. Okay. Oh, oh, the temperature change has changed a little bit. That's something. The RF per tick seems to be going up a little bit faster. 403%. Okay, we're starting to see some changes now. Let me, let me grab the flux again. That'll pull the power out of it. Well, in theory. At least up until the point that the reactor is, the storage is full. 403%. Still at zero efficiency. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to wait till it gets under 100%. The temperature change is definitely going up. 89%. Too many. Too many. Throw one in. 89%. That's not horrible. Efficiency still at zero. We got to get this temperature up high is the problem. I saw that cloud move through and I thought something bad happened. <laughs> oh, God, I hope I have enough liquid helium. Just to get the achievement, at least. Then we can shut it down. But it's slowly dropping. Hopefully there's enough in there. I've let this thing run for almost two weeks. It does not produce that fast. This is a different helium. That's not going to help me. We are 22% cooling. We are going to have a problem if I don't get a little bit more coolant in there. Okay. Let's throw one more in. See if that helps. Forty-four. Okay, it went back up a little bit. That's okay. That is all right. That's still still lower than I would want, but. How long am I going to stream for? So I stream for three hours. Uh, today and three hours tomorrow. Now, if something happens and this doesn't hit it, I'll let it run tomorrow, but I won't click on it at all and just pray it doesn't blow up while I'm off camp. If it does blow up, I will immediately shut the world down and uh, we'll fix it tomorrow on camera. But basically, if something happens, if I see if I click on it, and it's making the 3,333,000, I'll get the achievement. I don't want to get it off camera. So I can't click on it. 
is the problem. But it may take a while for it to fill all the way up. This has to fill a fair amount. 44% cooling is not horrible. What do we got on this one? So this one we're cooling at 102%. have to clock out. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I would have to clock in. <laughs> I need some sleep before they have... Boy, this is storing a lot of power. That does worry me a little bit. If this does get full, I have no idea what we're going to do. Because I just don't have another way to store it. Unless I grab some like type of creative battery that can hold an infinite amount of power. Which I'd hate to do, but I also don't want to spend five hours making a bigger induction. And I have to break into the induction to make it bigger inside. It's mostly full. So we have to build a second induction. Which I don't want to do either. I'm trying to watch the temperature change. It is slowly going down. That's where we start getting our... Oh, 0.1% efficiency. Okay. We need to get up to... I think it's like 97 or 98 to hit the, hit the achievement. Did you know my toroid size is 25? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> no idea if that's important or not. Now I'm waiting for this to fill so I can see what's happening. This doesn't hold a lot. Okay, all right. Well, good news is it's full, but the RF per tick is still climbing. There isn't any type of void tank in Sky Factory 4 that unfortunately will work like that for power. We, we looked already for that the other day, WW. Yeah, sadly, there isn't any type of trash for power. Wish there was. Wish there was. In uh, some of the other... There are, they exist in other packs. There just isn't anything like that here that I am aware of. Yeah, because there's the trash void, but it only does fluid or items. We tried connecting power to it, and it didn't work. And then for trash, it's the same thing. Um, power. Let's see, was there anything in power? Uh, what is this for? Nuclear craft. I have no idea what these are for. Never used those. Lithium battery. Energy stored. Wow, that's a lot of power. What well, isn't it? Let me see. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, two billion power is what that holds. Huh. Two billion is a fair amount of power. How hard are these to make? Oh god, crystal binder. Yeah, we're not gonna make those. I already shut I already took that whole system apart. I'd have to automate it, and I don't want to go through that. We've already made the largest mineral battery possible. And it holds basically nothing. Oh, we're up to 0 0.2. It is working. It's probably going to take all day. We're holding strong at 44 right now. I'm feeling okay with that. Because our temperature change is dropping. And the temperature is so far from full, I'm not too worried about a meltdown at this point. So let's let that run for a little while. Come back to those. We'll give it a time. And we're going we're gonna to work on some things. We're going to work on this. Let us begin the work. Oh, let's go take a look at the other things that I'm supposed to have done that I forgot about first. Uh, let's go check on our... What other achievements are we working on? Uh, filling a black hole with any item. And octuple compressed netherrack block. Now, I'm pretty sure I don't have either of those done yet. Because I did not get to put any time in them. But we'll take a look. So... The reason I was not streaming at all last weekend, uh, if you know, in case anybody cares, 
I, uh, five septuple. All right. That's not bad. We're over halfway. We need nine. We need nine septuples to get our, comp our final piece that we need to get that one done. Uh, last Sunday, my wife got a new tattoo. She got a big Hello Kitty wearing a kimono right here. That went really well. Um, and then, what else? Um, full black holes. And then uh, Monday morning, I had to get up at like 4 o'clock in the morning and drive all the way to Nashville, Tennessee. Basically a three-hour drive uh, to be interviewed for citizenship. All right, we're at $1 billion. We're halfway there on Cobblestone. I just don't know another way to speed that up, unfortunately. I've got it maxed in there. I just don't know another way to speed up that process. But uh, I'm not sure uh, if these are helping because it, it doesn't appear that they are. So I don't know. You know, I never knew that made a blue line. I know I... Is that new? Does that always make a purple line? I didn't know that. That's cool. I wonder if the liquid one did that. That would have made saved my life so much trouble. Well, I gotta go look at that now. Is that one of these? Oh wow, it does. That's cool. Alright, now I gotta look at the diamond one though. Oh, it just points to all of them. Oddly enough, if you look away from it, you can't see them, though. That's where the liquid hydrogen is going. Wait a minute. That's the liquid hydrogen one again. I'm looking at the wrong one. I want to look at diamond. What is this? That does not look like liquid diamond to me. Liquid diamond is historically blue. I'm concerned. Bucket. Oh, there's no way to get a bucket out of this. And I know that's liquid diamond, but see, it's blue. Huh. All right, I'm going to need some type of small tank. Small tank. There's one. Perfect. Let's make a GPS. I just got to be sure. No, no, it's molten diamond. Okay. It's molten diamond. It just, uh, it just doesn't look like molten diamond. Okay, that's okay then. I can I can live with that. Put that away. Put that away. I got a bucket of diamond for later. Here we go on temperature. 0 0.8, 0 0.9. Now it's climbing. We are not going to see that today, though. Hmm. Okay. Time to work on moon juice. <laughs> Need to build a big square room. Big square room. How much room have I got? Let's figure it out. Let's get cobblestone. That will help us build. I only have 1,500 cobblestone? That's insanity. How much brick have I got? 6,000. We'll use brick. Okay. See how far out I want to take this. So let's see. I'm going to have to have a wall, a knot wall. A wall. So this is going to be the inside of my room. In my room. Or that's going to be the inside wall of my room. Let me rephrase. So that's three. Well, we'll say that's one off the center. So we'll go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That looks pretty big. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's the inside wall. We're going to go down, but not as far, I think. 
I don't want to do that. Uh, we don't have to go as far down. Do I want to build stairs? Stairs might look cool this time. Let's see, if I go down one, two, three, four, five. Let's see. I'm imagining this in my head. Bear with me. It's too low. Um, that's going to be wall, not wall, wall. So that's if I don't go down at all. I kind of want to go down. So let's assume we put stair, stair, stair. So let's see if we do a stair there, a stair there, and a stair there. That would make this floor, not floor, floor. Okay. Got it. So this is my not floor, floor. Yes. Yes. That will work. Okay. So this is going to be my floor. We're, no, we're going to be switching blocks in just a minute. What did I do? Ten on that side and then I added two more? Okay, we'll add two more on this side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Alright, so there's twelve. gonna go so that was 12 and 12 that's gonna be 25 total I'll be potentially using a building gadget in a minute I'm just sizing things up right now All this brick is going to get destroyed later. This is just me spacing out my area. Okay, so that's going to be floor, not floor. And then I got to figure out how tall I'm going to make it. I think. Let's see. If we're going down that low, we got one, two, three, four, five. five. And I got to go up five. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's going to be roof, not roof. Roof, not roof. Okay, good, 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 good. That is the wrong thing. That is the wrong thing. Glass. Now, do I want to use glass? How much quartz have I got? Actually, maybe I'll use quartz. Well, I'm going to need some glass. See what I got for quartz. How much quartz have I got? 90,000. That's a fair amount of quartz, I would think, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll look good. That'll look real good. We'll use quartz. Okay. So this is floor, not floor. Roof, not roof. Okay. That'll work. So for roof, not roof, I need to use uh, glass. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-five. Should line up. Yep. Delicious. Do, do, do. I haven't made a room. I made a room like this during the convention, but I've made a room like this in a stream in a long time, and it's something I like the way it looks. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Yes. Okay. Now we get the gadget out. Yeah, 
Yes, that would be fine. That would look good. Okay. So then, yeah, I fell. Now we're gonna get some cords. Technically, the cords will go here, but that's gonna be a stair. So let's go like this. That's not right. That's not right. I didn't count it from the glass. Okay. Should have went up here. Should have went up here. That would make way more sense. Come on, Draven. One, two. That's what I need. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, for the citizenship. I started talking about that, and then I got off on counting. Because uh, Draven gets off on counting. I uh, <laughs> The citizenship thing went really well. Basically, I passed. Um... In fact, I would have been all done, but it turns out there was one document I had to, to bring with me that I didn't know I had to bring with me. It's my own fault. I should have looked into it better. I have it. I just didn't have it with me three hours away. So the lady who interviewed me, who was remote, by the way, they took me into a room and I sat at a desk and there was like this tablet on an angle sitting in front of me. I was looking at a screen and she was working from home that day, which was cool. So she popped on, asked me some citizenship questions from the test, which... I studied for that test all week. I knew all 100 of those, and they didn't give me any of the hard questions I thought I'd get. But they only asked me six questions, because you got to get six out of ten. I got the first six. There's no reason to keep going. So they gave me that, went through it, asked me a bunch of questions. I had to swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, none of the truth, all that kind of stuff. And they're like, okay, cool. Do you have this paper? And I'm like, nope, didn't know I needed to bring it. She goes, that's okay. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to mail you, actually I'm going to mail you an envelope with a specific form in it. And then you're going to, you're going to, uh, that's not the gadget. She goes, you're going to mail me the form. I'm like, oh, I can do that. She goes, you have 30 days to get it to me. I'm like, that's not a problem. I've got it. So I just had to wait on their letter, which arrived yesterday. So on Monday, I'm going to go and mail it out. And then I will get a letter sometime in the next couple of months telling me where and when to go for my swearing-in ceremony, basically. So pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So I will be... A, they also approved my name change request, verified the spelling of how I want it and stuff like that. So that was cool. Now, is this one the floor, not floor? Hang on a second. Let me see. If I'm going to come... A stair. Let me get the stairs in here. Let me get some stairs in here real quick. Let me get some quartz stairs so we can make this work. Um, so, yeah, I should be a citizen by the... They said it's usually in the summer. So, I should be a citizen by the end of the summer, basically. Uh, so, that's pretty cool. Pretty excited about it. Happy to get it done. You know what I mean? Let me get some of these out of the way now. <laughs> fell. Okay, so get rid of that. And we're going to do floor, floor, get rid of that. Floor. Now that I want to go down just three, I was going to go down five, wasn't I? I was pretty sure I was going to go down five. Four. Oh, I did not make enough. Give me another four. And then. In theory, that's what I wanted. Yes, yes. Um, so that'd be rusty. <laughs> that's true. Got to prove the crime, though. Yeah, yeah. My my middle name will legally be Draven, but I can use it, right? And that's the important part. I can use it when I want to use it, kind of thing. And then this is going to be glass. Okay, that's that's where the hard part is, right there. That part. all that out of the way. I did not realize I had some lava just kicking around in here. Oh, man. Don't tell me my one's in the charger. Oh. Yeah, it is. Crap. We gotta go get it. Now, well, let's take a look at this real quick while we're going by. Keep an eye on this. Let's see? 6.9% efficiency. I like it. The temperature is dropping, and that's good. That's what we want to see. The temperature is still... 
going up, but it's dropping by less each couple of seconds. That's what matters. Um, yeah, so once I swear in, I'll have the, the name change will be done and all that kind of stuff. So I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. I knew I'd put it in here. Oh, I left that little glow thing on. Oops, I didn't get all these. I don't care if I lose those. Wand, go away. All that for that. <laughs> I'm going to put my shrinky dink away, too. I don't need it right now. Or those bricks. Okay. Oh, no, I don't need any more of those. All right, so now that I know where this goes, which is what I wanted. Oh, missed one. <laughs> Captain Kirk Draven. I'll take it. I will take it. So that's the glass. I'm looking at you through the glass. I don't know how much time has passed. That is just some music from Graydon. Okay, so there's one. Well, wait, that's not what I wanted. I want over here. Okay, so that's that. Yes. One, two. That's the bottom now. Okay. I'll fix that in a minute. Okay. Uh, this room I'm building purely for the look of it. I just wanted to design a cool room, and I've not made one quite this big before of what I'm trying to do, so. Ow, fire! Okay, so that should line up in theory. Let's test. Uh, nope, I'm one over. Okay, that's okay. I need to be two over total, so that will work. Okay, and now I'm going to come up here. Try not to burn my butt. Build our framework, and then we can fill it in. Uh, you mean U.S. citizen? You're gonna have dual citizenship. No, they don't. They don't give you dual citizenship anymore. They stopped doing that a long time ago. It's uh, when you become a citizen, you give up. It's part of the. It's part of the vow you take now is that you give up all allegiance to any other countries. Hey, kick! How you doing? So, oops, an extra piece over there. I'll fix that in a minute. I think I missed one. Yeah, I did. Oh, I ran out of quartz. More quartz for Draven. Not you. Not you. Quartz. Quartz. Block of quartz. Block of quartz. We'll come back for glass. I don't need glass right now. Checking everything, making sure everything's still working like I want it. So, yeah. Uh, the citizenship, my sister is already a citizen. She did it a few years ago. Um, and then my mom passed away a few years back as well. So it's just my sister and I down here. So there's, there isn't anyone else that needs to do it. <laughs> my wife's already a citizen. I should have done just that. That would have been faster. <laughs> Now I have Stone Sours through the glass stuck in my head. And I'm not really complaining because that's an amazing song. Probably uh, one of my favorite Stone Sour songs. I adore Stone Sour. Okay, now i got to break the hole for the door. <laughs> Wee! I feel like I'm going to do I feel like I am going to do a full this isn't something I've normally done 
here. So this may end up changing. No, not that. That doesn't. That one did. Those two did not. And then this should not. Okay. Just making sure I've got this right. Yes. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's going to be an interesting process. I got to got to go meet a judge and get all sworn in and stuff. And there'll be a bunch of people there doing it. It will not be just myself. We, uh, my, my, I, cause I went to my sister's with her, right? Because you know, it was a big deal. They're just supportive. And uh, it was interesting to watch it get done. Had a hole? I did have a hole. Oh, I was like, why can't I fly up? Oh, yeah. There's a glass roof there. I had forgotten. Let's see. We are going to do it like that. Looks good. That looks good. Right. That looks good. This extends. It does. Okay, should be able to. Should be able to do a chunk of this now. So we're gonna go like this. No, I guess I could just do that, couldn't I? Thunk, 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 thunk. Uh, let's see. Uh, great. Actually, enlist tomorrow. Good lord. Like, military enlist? Oh, congrats, man. That's awesome. And thank you for your service. Not everybody does that type of stuff. I was, I was not physically capable of doing it, nor probably mentally, to be honest with you. And at the risk of making an insensitive joke, I was also never, ever good at first-person shooters. So, you know. That was like a subtle sign, right? <laughs> ah, I'm an idiot. Um, which, if it'll be streamed, I could check. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know. I don't. Uh, I don't remember that ever coming up when my sister did hers. But they may have offered it at that time, and uh, because I went in person, I, I never bothered to ask. It wouldn't have crossed my mind. I'll, I'll check. My sister might know. I'll reach out to her tomorrow, and see. I know I have to actually be there. <laughs> I remember because. Uh, you go in, and then it, you you there's a gallery people sit at, and then you sit basically because it's done in the courthouse. So you sit with like the court, where like the judge, or sorry, where the jury sits is where they they sit everybody. Um, and then they call out like a roll call to make sure everybody there is supposed to be. You jerk! I forgot all about lighting. I forgot I got night vision. It's dark. Wow. Okay, hang on. Let me get a flare lantern real quick. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you can pop. You know, I'm not concerned. For just a minute, that'll be fine. We won't keep that there long. Uh, but yeah, I'll, uh, I remember, so everybody sits, we sit in jury, and then there's the regular part, in the, again, a court case, where everybody watches the court case kind of thing. That's where all your friends and family sit. They call you in first, the, the, the people getting sworn in. Because I was sitting with my sister and her wife in a separate room. Uh, and then they called her in before we could go into the gallery and watch. I guess that's what they roll called to make sure everybody's there kind of thing. And uh, uh, it was. So then you do the, you, you, you swear the stuff and the things and the stuff you're supposed to swear. And then, uh, you know, it's like everybody claps. And then, why are all of you people down here? I have lighting down here. Why are you taking more than one hit to? Powerful people. Um, okay, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty, pretty good. Pretty pleased with that so far. The room is actually going to be smaller than this. Inter oh, yeah, glass roof, I forgot. Do, 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 do. Let's go get the stuff we need. Do, 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 do. Won't need this. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Probably won't need quite as much quartz for a little while. I'll give that, put that back. I'll pull it back out when I need it. 
And now I need a black hole tank. Black hole unit. That will not help me. Black hole tank. There's a black hole tank. Do, do, do. This is my tank of moon juice. And I will need buckets. Large buckets. Ooh, there's a noise. What's that? Hey, welcome back, Kick. It is a pleasure to have you, my friend. What? I'm out of uh, ingots. That sucks, man. Can I make some ingots? Do I got the stuff to make ingots? Two, three. I do! Victory. Bucket. <laughs> Why? You're all jerks! All right, that's all right, then. Let's go take a look at this real quick. Keep an eye on this bastard. We got 18.9% uh, efficiency. It's actually picking up faster than I thought. Temperature is low and still decreasing. I may still have too much coolant. We'll keep an eye on that. Boop. Okay, now I gotta kill these guys so I can get my work done. Why are you immune to flare lanterns? All the experience. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so now I need to go get rid of that crap. Get my moon juice. Moon juice does not spread like water does. It's more difficult to flatten out. It requires quite the effort. Still not going to be flat. I'm just doing the best I can. Okay. Oh, I forgot to... Moon juice, technically not, not going to burn you. Got to get the whole outer edge. I forgot about that. Oh, get it back in there. Juice. Made this a little larger than I thought I was going to. Not a complaint, mind you. So as you can see, it does not reach all the way inside, obviously. So we're going to do this. Approximate middle is going to be here. <clears throat> one for you, one for you, one for you. And then it's just a matter of going around and trying to level it out as much as possible. It doesn't have to be completely level. The other steps we're going to take are going to hide it, kind of. But uh, we just want to get it as approximately as, as possible. Oh, ran out of moon juice. Uh, on the way you design your Sky Factory 4 bases. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Mm. Uh, the one stream when you got really drunk and got all emotional and some doing a lot of subs on Twitch. It happens. I am an emotional drunk, I will admit. Speaking of donations, I should mention that. Uh, so there is a donation link pinned to the top of chat. Uh, good friend of the channel and moderator, Teresa, is raising money for Extra Life this year. Uh, she's actually doing some live streaming Dungeons and Dragons content, and she's trying to reach her extra life goal, and uh, it you have till the end of the month kind of thing. So, if anyone would care to drop us a donation of any size, even a single dollar makes a huge difference. Uh, that link up top goes directly to her extra life page. Uh, you guys know I do extra life every year, uh, several times a year, and I'm all about promoting anybody trying to help that wonderful charity. So. If anyone's in a position that they would like to do a little special donation, uh, any any shot donations tonight, please put all donations through that link instead of 
super chat, super stickers, or my personal donation link, if you will. Uh, and those will go towards a very good cause. All right, that's not looking too bad. Not looking perfect, but it's looking all right. You won't be able to tell once we get doing with the other stuff. So that's all right. But I do, I do get a little uh, sloppy, both personal, emotional, and uh, um, just sloppy in general when I get drunk. I had, went to Olive Garden with my wife today. We're going <clears> to... <throat> taxes hit us hard this year. I had to pay more in taxes this year than I've ever had to pay in my life. Uh, but that's because my wife was approved for Social Security this year. and There's a bunch of extra stuff. A disability, not social security, disability. Basically, it works out to be almost the same thing, right? But, uh, so, uh, we're going to be cutting back a little bit here in the near future on stuff. Well, I guess go ahead and have a nice dinner out before we uh, start. You know, we've been splurging a little bit lately on eating out. You know, before we go back to me cooking again. And for the record, I'm an exceptional cook. She enjoys my cooking. All right, that looks pretty good. We're going to, oh, wait, one right there. Okay, we're going to go with that. Um... Okay, cool, cool. Fill that up again. I can't go any higher. Why not? Oh, yeah, because of the glass. If anybody's watched my streams before, you might recognize what I'm doing. I've done this a couple times. Usually in much smaller degrees. This is going to be probably the biggest one of these I've made. Almost out of moon juice. We're only going to do three sides for right now. So I still got to be able to get in and out of here. Oh my goodness, did I just do that wrong? Oh, I did! I put it on the top block and not the block beneath. Oh, that makes me so mad! I made that wrong! Hold on, I gotta fix it. Because that's what happens if I do this. I'm gonna lose that. Oh, it fills it back in. Well, that's good to know. But what happens if I do this? We're gonna lose it all. But if we don't lose it all, then that's great. I would love that. Oh, we didn't. Excellent. Doesn't work like water. Don't think it requires a source block. I'm not sure. We're going to have to fix that to be sure, though. I'm going to break all these last minute. I should have been using something else so I could vein mine it, but that's my fault. I was one level too high. I should have been dropping it to level beneath that. Yeah, it's all disappearing now. That's what I thought. Okay. That's all right. We can fix that. Super easy. I got lots of moon juice. I ran out of quartz, though. <clears throat> oh, if you do make a donation to Teresa's uh, Extra Life link up top, please tell me, because I don't get notifications for her page. <clears throat> so I can make sure that I do the right thing. I believe, Teresa, if you're out there, uh, if you see one, if you'll let me know. Uh, yeah, I think we changed it some since then. I believe... Just looking at her page, Miss Teresa may have gotten a ten dollar donation. Boy, quartz breaks it. Yeah, I fell down. So, uh, I've talked about this before. Uh, I was I fix that. How to get dilithium? Dude, I have got you. Give me one second. I will show you how to get dilithium. So dilithium, you can mine it um, in the Lost Cities. Excellent. I'm going to do a shot. You can, get a do you can mine it in the Lost Cities, and you can also mine it in um, the Twilight Forest. So um, dilithium itself... You get these lithium crystals. It looks like this. It's gray with little blue lines in it. And when you mine it, it drops the crystals. Kind of like uh, breaking coal or diamond or something of that nature. Okay? So, 
You can go mine it if you just need a few, but if you need a bunch, a laser drill. If you set up a laser drill, it will give you more dilithium than anything else. And you don't have to touch any adjustments. You don't have to add any lenses. You will drown in dilithium <laughs> if you have some laser drills. So that's another way to get it. Those are, so, but you can just go straight mine some if you want. I like going to the Twilight Forest. We're going to do it real quick. We're going to take just a, a brief ado while I... Uh... Going to the Twilight Forest to mine, I like more than the Lost Cities. Because the Lost Cities, you got to break through the glass and all that, so on and so forth. But if you are in the Twilight Forest and you can fly, you can just fly around the outside. You can see it sitting right there. I mined a hole. There's some right there. You can just go around the outside looking for that blue-green. There's another one. And then just mine a bunch of it and fly to the next island. So, uh, see, there's more, there's more. So, it's, pretty, it's very common uh, in both. But definitely, if you can fly, the Twilight Forest, super easy way to get it. Just go around there and mine it. Or if you want to do it passively, laser drill. And I don't get a lot of dilithium. Um, now, I've never had my laser drills in the Lost Cities, have I? I think I have. I don't remember. But in the regular world, I do. Um, Walrus! Like if we look at dilithium, my laser drills are... I've got 132,000 crystals passively. I've never had to mine it. You can go mine and get a few and then make a seed for mystical agriculture. That's another option. Uh, if you go to Lost Cities and just... I mean, the Twilight Forest and mine a few, um, you could go ahead and make yourself a seed and then use that seed to make more seeds and so on and so forth. Uh, and, and automate mystical for sure. Um... But normally, I just do the laser drill. Of course, I have a lot of laser drills, but and then it just passively does it itself. All right. Um, not sure what alcohol I have handy. Let me see what I've got. Oh, we got that nasty... Oh, don't look at my butt. Here, we'll do this. We'll get some more of this nasty orange moonshine. I've got to finish this off. And there's still so much left. So much left of this huge bottle. Still a great deal. I think I paid 15 for this, I want to say. It's five months ago now, I don't remember. Again, if you make a donation today to Miss uh, Teresa's Extra Life Charity link up in the top, please let me know because I will not get a notification that it has happened. And every single, every single little bit helps. Even if you're like, hey, all I got's a dollar. Hey, that's a dollar more than we had a minute ago. That is greatly appreciated, I promise. So again, uh, thank you very, very much, Z. We appreciate that. Here we go. <laughs> Not good. Ugh. Uh, the butterscotch one was so good. I had so much hope for the orange one. But again, even though it's not as good, the after flavor is gone. It's gone that quick. The flavor is gone so fast with these ones. It's all void with a lich boss fight. Is this normal? Uh, yes. So the Twilight Forest is a void in Sky Factory 4. And uh, you, you fly in a direct direction. North, south, east, west. You'll see more. They basically lay out in a grid. So if you see one, fly towards it. And keep fly, You'll just keep flying over more and more. And they, they're all randomized out. You're going to come across more liches and nagas than anything else. We have to fly around and find them all since it's a void. Hey, Jan just made a donation. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jan. We greatly appreciate that. I believe that puts Teresa almost at her halfway point for her goal, which is awesome. Teresa, is it alright if I give out your goal information? I, I, I don't can't think of anything that would hurt, but I'd like to ask first. Uh, build a laser drill farm in the shrinking machine, whatever it's called. Made a video about it. Kick, you are 100% correct, and that is exactly what I do as well still to this day. So, inside this compact machine... Give me this. I can. Okay, so Teresa's trying to raise $100, and thanks to your donations, we've just hit 50 So this is inside a compact machine, and I'm going to go inside another compact machine that's in a compact machine. This is my laser drill farm. 
I've made them larger, but I used this design this time because I didn't need a horrendous amount. So all these laser drills are farming materials and spatting them into that chest over here. I can never find... There it is. Put them in there. And then everything that it drills out gets fed out into the next compact machine where those items are sorted based on how you produce them. Some items, like dilithium, get broken. So it would get broken, and the dilithium will feed into my system. Some things you have to smelt. So I put them through a manufactory. That way you get two for one. Then I run them through a smelting factory, and then they run into my system. And then some things, I just want them in their natural form, like the crystals from Astral Sorcery, because they will fill up your inventory. They don't stack. So uh, I just send those in automatically. And then everything feeds into this chest. As you can see, I've already got some aquamarine. I got the rock crystal is the thing I don't break. I don't break rock crystal and I don't break uh, glowstone because ju it just saves space leaving it in its regular form. And then all the things that are being made right now from all the laser drills automatically feed out into my system and then I never have to worry about it. Uh, what are we drinking today? So I've got this, <laughs> this really funky orange... Frosted Orange Tennessee Moonshine. So you guys know I'm, I, I, I primarily drink Tennessee Mountain, there's East Smoky Mountain Tennessee Moonshine. I'm, I'm, I'm bumbling the name. Basically, it's what I drink. It's, it's the brand I prefer. It comes in a mason jar. It's great. But uh, the in Petros, Tennessee, which I only have like 30 minutes from, uh, there is the Brushy Mountain Distillery, which used to be the Brushy Mountain Penitentiary. And I did not know it was that close until last fall uh, as one of them haunted, shut-down penitentiary things. And so I took my wife and my mother-in-law out there for the day. We had a really good time walking through the busted-up penitentiary and taking the tour and stuff. Uh, but they also make alcohol there. And I got a butterscotch, which was really good. The or frosted orange, not so much. And I should have known. I never like anything that's not orange. You know what I mean? I don't like cream orange, cream orange, creamsicle orange, frosty. If there's an extra name with the orange, I usually don't like it. But I gave it a shot. And they also had vodka. And they have very good vodka. And so I got those while I was there. Uh, Solar says, thank you, man. I got your videos. It helped me a lot. I started this world three days ago. I never played Sky Factory. Well, you picked a wonderful pack. Sky Factory 4 is still my all-time favorite Minecraft pack that I have ever played. Today we are working on just a room for fun and trying to get the achievement for the maximum size fusion reactor. Woo, look at that efficiency. We may actually pull this off. We may actually get this achievement today. I'm very pleased, assuming we have no meltdown. Assuming we don't have a meltdown, we should be pretty cool. That's actually going up way faster than I expected it to. Delicious. So yeah, Miss Teresa is trying to raise hundred dollars, and we just hit helped her hit the fifty dollar mark. And this again goes to the Extra Life Charity, which is a wonderful charity. And if you donate there, please tell me because I don't get notifications. It's her page, not mine. But we had another donation, so that's another shot. Let me pour it. I don't mind. I don't mind, even though it's grody. The moon, both the butterscotch and orange. This brand of moonshine. I kid you not. Ten, maybe fifteen seconds. Flavor is completely gone out of your mouth. There's, the, there's you know, a lot of alcohol, especially moonshine. Man, that flavor will haunt you for a while, like disgusting Jaeger. Everclear doesn't actually have a strong after flavor. You're just basically drinking kerosene, so it's the going down that hurts. But a lot of moonshines and alcohol have a bad leftover taste. And these ones just fade away. So it's only rough for the first 10 or 15 seconds with this orange. The butterscotch, I enjoyed it. And I wish the after flavor had hung around a little bit more because I really like butterscotch. Because that's good stuff. All right, let me build something, a couple things, and then I'll take that shot. Okay. Wunderbar. So that's there. I was going to do the. What was I going to do? With the, oh, right, right. Okay, hang on. Let me get some. I, I was going out of turn. I actually did that in the wrong order. So we're going to fix that. Get rid of the quartz. Let me grab some glass. We're going to need a lot more than that, but this will get us started. Okay, so that's the corner. And we're going to do that here. Corner. And come on, math! 
I made a bunch of this glass ahead of time because I knew I wanted to build this room. This is just a room that I enjoy making. And it's going to take a lot of today's stream, and it's going to do nothing but make a room that I like the way it looks. But that's okay. Uh, I need more glass than that, though. That is nowhere near enough glass. Glass, 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 glass. So to get clear glass, which is some of my favorite glass to work with, uh, it's very clear with a white border. Um, you have to basically pour glass in a smelter. Uh, so I did all that ahead of time so we didn't have to sit and watch me do all that. That is not the right thing. That is the right thing. And I can't run it through there. Oh, no! I'm one too high. Crap! Okay, so I made a mistake there. I know you're thinking, but Draven, you're perfect. And I appreciate you thinking that, but it's not true. <laughs> okay, minor, minor boo-boo. Whoop. Pick up the glass. Yeah. Made minor boo-boos. That's okay, we can fix it. It's all about learning. Nothing is irreplaceable in Minecraft. It may not be easy to replace, but it's not irreplaceable. And that's what matters. Come here. Do, 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 do. We'll just do it this way this time. We'll, we'll auto-fill the inside. We're just going to build the frame. And I'll take that shot. Once I get this frame, I'll take that shot. Glass. Ah. Hey, I learned an interesting piece of movie trivia this week. Thanks to TikTok. Of which I watch way too much of. So, like, if you ever saw the... He-Man and the Masters of the Universe movie that came out late 80s, early 90s, starring Dolph Lundgren. A uh, horrible movie. Really, really bad movie. Um, but it turns out that they were really, the, the, the company that was making that movie was really hinging their bets on that movie being a success. And so even before the first one fully released, they were already pimping out they were going to make a sequel. And so... <laughs> they started building sets for it and everything. And then it bombed. It did not do well at all. And so they had to cancel the movie. But they had all these sets and costumes and didn't know what to do with them. Oh, another 10 from Kick. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, Kick. I appreciate that. Why did I, why did I do that? Uh, thank you very much, Kick. Greatly appreciative. We love it. We are sitting at only $40 to hit her $100 goal. Let me drink this shot, and then I'll get kick shot in just a minute. Here's the previous shot. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to lie. This orange stuff is on par with Jaeger in flavor. It's that bad. Ugh. Ugh. It just doesn't last as long. Ah, so I owe another 10 for kick. We will definitely do that as well. Blah, blah, blah. So anyways, with the movie, check this out. So they didn't want to uh, waste all that money, right? Why would you? Why would you want to waste all that money? That doesn't make any sense. So what they did is they used it all to make another movie. And that movie was Cyborg, starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. I love that movie. I guess the original He-Man plot for the sequel was going to be He-Man comes back to Earth and Skeletor had turned Earth into a post-apocalyptic nightmare and He-Man had to save us all. So they didn't want to waste all that post-apocalyptic stuff. So they made Cyborg. Why am I in the lava? Okay, That's awesome. I love Cyborg. I'm a huge Jean-Claude Van Damme fan. I don't, I, I, I don't watch as much of his stuff now. But back in the day, man, I watched everything that man was in. I had heard some rumors that he was a bit of a turd in real life, though. Which is always disappointing to hear, right? You never want to hear that someone you're a fan of is a turd in real life. But what you gonna do, right? Okay, that's as far as I can go there. So I fix it. Whoop. 
You know what? That's going to make an... Un that's, I'm, I'm going to personally know that that hole was in there and it was going to bother me. <laughs> okay. That should work. Oh, that's one, two... Is that right? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yes, I need glass there. No. Yes, maybe. I'm, I'm forgetting. Give me a moment. I'm figuring out a remembering thing. All right, so my glass wall is going to be here. Okay, that needs that's where the mistake is. Technically, that did need to be there, but I don't want it there yet. I guess I could put it there. This is going to be the outer wall right there. So I'm going to need a moon juice there. All right, no, because if I bring glass all the way down... No, that's right. Yeah, moon juice there. And then I bring glass down. That's not right, though. i got to fix that. No, I, that's wrong. Damn it. It's hard to see through the moon juice sometimes. And one there. Okay, so that should close that off. It doesn't look like it is because I haven't built the full wall yet, but that's okay. There's one extra piece there. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. Yes, that should work. Okay. So if that's going to be glass, then so is that. And that's going to be the outer wall. And I think, did I already get, is that the roof? Am I hitting the roof now? Uh, I am hitting the roof now. Uh, yes, okay. So that works. So now I should be able to go like this. And that will kind of fill that in. See how that looks. Whoop. Let me out! That's what Draven said. That is feasibly correct. So when I come out, glass, glass. I don't like the... Ah! Okay, that's a problem. How did I do that? How did I get in there? Okay. So I need the glass to go up here. Yes. Yes, that is correct. That is how that should look. This this blobbity stuff will fix here once I finish building the wall, which I could technically do now on all four sides. We're going to do that in a moment. So, let's start. How much glass have I got? Lots. Good. I just got to be careful that I don't mess up any of the juices. Moon juices! You guys are probably going to get see me use a magnet today, maybe. I don't normally use magnets. You guys know I don't like those, but uh, I may have to for the thing I'm going to do today. Drama. How are we doing for glass? Okay, we're still doing good. Now, the quartz is behind the moon juice. Because sometimes if you have a dark block behind it, you can see it through the moon juice. And I don't want that. I want it to be white behind. Now, I'm going to start part of this room today, and then if you guys get bored, tell me, you know. When I get to the next, like, the, the last buildy section, it might be boring. And if it is, you tell me, and I'll do something else. Okay. It should leave me with one open one. It does. Because i got to finish up here, right? Uh, let's see. And I still owe $10 for Kickshot. Let me pour that now so I don't forget. What music do I listen to? Wonderful question. So, I like a lot of different music, but primarily... I listen to rock or hard rock. So, like, right now, it's a lot of uh, modern, current stuff. A lot of motionless and white, falling in reverse. Breaking Benjamin and Seether are always on my list. Two of my favorite bands. Biffy Clyro is always up there. Uh, I'm enjoying, let's see, Bring Me the Horizon. I like them a lot right now. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's a ton and I'm forgetting them, but... To give you an idea of the genres of music that I enjoy, that. 
Uh, I love Jimmy Buffett. I'll jam to Jimmy any day, any time. Um, I also like uh, just a tiny smattering of some country. Not a lot, but I do like a tiny smattering of some country. I got to remember this is how I get in and out. So I just realized I was almost out of moon juice. Uh, no meltdown yet. Good sign. And uh, let's see. What else? Um, uh, I like uh, some some alternative -y kind of stuff, I guess you'd call it. Uh, Mumford & Sons. I like really enjoy Mumford & Sons. I like them a lot. I like Celtic folk music. Steve McDonald being some of my favorite. Uh, but I really enjoy Celtic music. Um, especially stuff where there's like uh, it's hard to describe I guess nature sounds and shit involved like, I don't know why I just like that um, anything with water I'm addicted to water it's a thing that I've dealt with my whole life I love water um, and by loving water oh, let me just explain what I mean by that I like the way water looks and sounds not to care much about how it feels like I'm not someone who wants to be wet all the time Giggity. But uh, I, I very extremely amateur photography, uh, photographer. Um, and I, I, I very much enjoy taking pictures of water. Which, living where I do here in East Tennessee, there's a lot of really cool places to have that opportunity. From waterfalls to just creeks, mountain rivers. A lot of opportunity of that nature. Um, but I also enjoy the sound of it. I sleep best when it rains. Man, yeah, thunderstorms do not wake me up. I will stay asleep <laughs> in a thunderstorm. I sleep the best of the week right there. How do I get in again? Where's my hole? There's my hole. Okay, so put that there, that there. Just make sure I can get in and out of there. Um, okay, that looks good. And then, whoop. Pop out. And then, switch back to glass, of which I'm out. I uh, grew up listening to Meatloaf, Alice Cooper, so I'm a huge fan there still. Um, can listen to Alice anytime. I don't listen to Al that's the wrong block, Draven. I don't listen to Alice as much as I used to. I should listen to some Alice. You've reminded me of my love for Alice. I also realized I did not put the bottom square in anywhere here. Fail, Draven. You know, I could probably just do this here. Um. But I say that's the primary stuff that I listen to. Uh, my wife does not listen to the music that I listen to. Uh, the only type of music we both like is usually going to be stuff like 80s music. So we will, uh, if we're going on a trip or something, normally we'll bounce between hard rock, which she likes a little bit of, and then 80s or 90s music. I'm not real happy with that space over there not being liquid. And so I'm going to have to fix it because that makes me unhappy. And no one likes an unhappy Draven. Okay, let me down in here. Okay, so that's part of my problem. Can I walk through here? No, I put glass here. Okay, that's part of my problem. Fix it. That should be quartz. How do I get out? There we go. There we go. That fixes that. Okay, good deal. All right. But now I'm not happy with that. I feel like that should be one higher. But if I make it one higher, I'm going to get moon juice all over myself. Interesting way to say it, right? Here with the rain play, sleep white noise, best way to sleep. 
mad scientist with all the android parts, but still not letting me turn into an android. You don't have to do it that way. You can just make the pill. It's super easy to do. I never use the scientist. Too much work. All you need is a red pill. Lithium dust, which again, you can mine from... Lost Cities or Twilight Forest. Twilight Forest being the easiest because you can just fly around the base. You need a combiner. You combine that with a redstone carrot, which is just a carrot with redstone. That's it. So you need carrot, redstone, and one lithium dust and a combiner, which isn't that hard to make. And then you can just eat the carrot and it'll work for you. You don't have to do the whole scientist thing. Uh, I would recommend that. That's the only way I do it. I've never used the scientist. Because of the amount of work it's involved. And again, I'm very lazy. You guys remember that. <laughs> Temperature's still dropping. I like to see it. Like to see it. 59%. Point 0.1. I'll take the points. We're over, well over halfway at this point. We still have an hour and a half left in the stream. That's excellent. Hello, IDK and Zequa. Welcome. Pleasure to have you. I'm not sure if I can do anything. I don't normally use a three-wide door. It's kind of throwing off my design a little bit. You know what I could do? Okay, I, I think I might. Uh, I guess I could put... Let's try this. Well, that was too many glasses. I didn't want to break that many glasses. Let's do that. Uh, that looks a little better, but I, I still need to put a water source block in here in order for this to work. Nope, still not going to work. Okay, well, I guess it's just not going to be perfect unless I make that all the way through. Hmm. Intriguing. I'm unhappy with the stairs. Wait, are there glass stairs? Man, if there's glass stairs, I'm going to be super happy. Boo! Listen, I've, I've said this a million times. If you're going to make a mod, please, for the love of God, include more stairs. I use stairs all the time for building, and there's always such few to choose from. When I look at a new mod pack, I am very, very much interested in how many stairs are available. I look at it every time. All right, I have a way of fixing this. I'm going to fix it in post. <laughs> Call it in post. All right, so here we have a moon juice room, right? Moon juice room. It's all moony and juicy. But we're not done yet. No, no. We still have things to do. Let's take a look over here before we jump into the next phase of my diabolical... It's not diabolical. It's just a plan. 60.9. That's actually going up very fast because we have the cooling so low. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. If this thing explodes, we're in a world of trouble. All right. I don't need any more of those. Okay. Uh, ba -da -ba -da, kick ba -da. Actually, no, uh, we did specifically ask, IDK. Don't worry about what other people are saying, boss. Uh, rock is the main genre I listen to, uh, which I agree. Brother tries to pull me into another genre. It's like Israel rap. Can't do rap. Can't do rap music. I just don't enjoy it. Nothing against the people that do it. I'm not saying they're not talented artists. It's just not something I enjoy listening to. People always like, do you like poetry? Yes. Reading it, I don't like listening to people say it either. I just I just don't like that. I don't like people. It just doesn't in, in do it for me. Some of the background music's pretty good. But then they rap and it ruins it. And that's one problem I have with hard rock is I really like hard rock. But there's so much rap in hard rock. And it bothers me. Because I just don't like rap music. Orange juice. Oh, oh, God. Gross. Oh, sorry. Oh, that was not good. Ugh. Moonshine. We are only $40 away from hitting Teresa's Extra Life Charity Goal. That is the link there at the post at the top. Of course, we can make more than that. That's also awesome. I'd love to see us succeed, help us succeed Teresa's goal. And she's going to be doing this for the rest of the month on her own streams as well. So there's still plenty of time for her to do that. So we're just trying to help out a little bit today. And I'm glad that we've been able to do so. Mm 
One minute. Fixed it. Don't need turds. Okay, let's see. So this is going along very well. It's going nicely. I like that. To make more... Oh, God, yeah, but the time, man, it takes to... Oh, chisel. I hate chiseling. <laughs> but it's true. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Some packs have glass spheres, and I appreciate those packs for doing that. Uh, your link is socials? All the time. Yeah, you're welcome to do that if you'd like. I appreciate that. Lol, you mad. Thank you. I always appreciate it. Just trying to gain new followers, not for money, just because I like to hang out with people. This is a chance for me to be able to answer people's questions in real time. And that is cool for me. All right. So now we're done the outer shell. This is a boring glass moon juice room. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants a boring moon juice room. Let's see. 3K blue crystal block. That should work. Do, 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 do. Little bit of lag. Right, this is going to fix the issue I have where I don't like the way this looks. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And welcome. We're happy to have you. So I've made rooms like this in the past and always liked the way they looked. And uh, the hard part is just making it look cool. I'm basically 100% freehanding at this point. The goal is not to have them all be a specific pattern of any way. I want them to look kind of hodgepodgey. Now, because of that, I will have to break a few and put glass back, but that's okay. The roof is always the hard part. <laughs> I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to put glass back in there, and I'm going to put glass back in there. And so basically, I'm going to spread a pattern around the room. No particular pattern. Just kind of freehanding it as I go. I find that it, I, I like the way it looks better when I don't have a specific pattern. When I'm just trying to add things interestingly. Uh, let's see. How do you make those blocks you're using? Great question, Tyler. You actually can't. So these blocks are uncraftable. The only way to get them is to mine them from the end castle in the Twilight Forest. And so I did just that. Let's go take a look so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. And, you know, I like the blue ones. I just like the way that those look with the, with the pattern and thing that I'm working on. But they're also available in yellow, pink, and purple. I was very lucky, and I started right next to one of these castles. Right? So if you come to an end castle, and of course you have to go all the way through the, the, the Twilight Forest to unlock being able to get here, but you'll see that these runes in different colors show up all over the castle. So there's yellow ones, pink ones, there'll be purple ones kicking around here, and blue ones. There's some more of the blue ones I got. And so it's just a matter of mining them. Now they're not easy to mess with, right? They're not easy. So you just sit there. I'm, I'm vein mining, right? Easiest way to do it, uh, uh, a magnet would be the best, right? Because then I don't usually use magnets. I don't like them, but 
That gives me a bunch of them, right? Uh, you can also vein mine these doors, too. You can't make these door blocks. These door blocks are phenomenal. Uh, I love these doors. We're going to use one. Uh, let's see. Who's this guy? Uh, you can chisel one block with line chisel and use template. That is true. Yes, you can. Uh, hello, David Canby. Welcome. Uh, do you know who LOL is, by the way? I'll be honest. I do not, and I apologize. I don't get a lot of opportunity to watch a lot of other streamers. I wish I did, but I spend so much... That's not where I wanted to go. That was the wrong button. I spend so much time either streaming or working my regular job, I rarely get to see him. Anyway, but I appreciate you folks coming through. Hello, Adam Kiltus. Welcome. Well, lots of people popping in today. Yes, you can break the end castle once you've, once you've unlocked it by going through the progression. Let's check on our fusion reactor, see how close we are to our achievement. We're trying to get all the achievements in Sky Factory 4 again. Oh, he's not a streamer? Oh, okay. Well, that's still cool. I didn't know. I apologize. I did not know who he is. So, let's see. So, we're 66.2% efficiency. We're trying to get the achievement to make a full maximum size nuclear craft fusion reactor while uh, attaining 3,333,333 RF per tick. International Valorant player. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I played Valorant a little bit. Man, I am not good at first-person shooters. <laughs> I am not good at first-person shooters at all. I like them. I'm just not good at them. Uh, <laughs> I'm a bit of a fail when it comes to the shooters. All right. Shift, shift. All right. So well, well, I got to wait for that to come back. Did I put one in there? Okay. So these castle doors you can get from the castle as well. Boop. Right-click on them. Door. Right? But yeah, you can use, like I said, there's several, there are four different colors in the end castle. But yeah, you could totally break them once you get there. It doesn't seem like you can, unless you've got like a high level tool, like a Supremium pickaxe or something, because it's so slow to smack on them. It's like hitting obsidian with diamond or, or less. It feels like it's going to take forever. Uh, but you can, in fact, yes, actually go ahead and break those blocks. Uh, that's why I recommend vein mining, just because it's going to take so long to break them. That is awesome that you're a Valorant player. Let me see. Uh, I, I tried first-person shooters. Uh, I still play them sometimes for fun with friends, but never publicly because I suck. <laughs> but I, uh, I started with PUBG. Years ago, my, that's, that's actually kind of ooh, partially how I got into streaming. Uh, some friends of mine were playing PUBG, and they're like, hey... You should come play PUBG with us. And I'm like, okay, I suck at first person shooters. Like, we don't care. I'm like, that's what I like to hear from friends. <laughs> so they get, they're like, we're all streaming. You should stream too. So they helped me get it all set up. And I streamed over on Twitch for a little while. That, and when I was ever by myself, I did Minecraft. And I do a lot of seven days to die. Probably the closest I get to any form of first person shooter is <laughs> seven days to die. Um, but, you know, I got up to affiliate and then I didn't do anything with it. And then I started making YouTube tutorials for Minecraft, targeted mostly for new players uh, or younger players and such. And it kind of took off, and I started streaming over here. And I still stream on Twitch once in a while, uh, usually once or twice, uh, once every other week or so. Uh, but most of my community knows me here on YouTube for my tutorials, so I, I do stay over here more often than I'm on Twitch. But I do have a Twitch as well. I think I have a button for that. I do. So again, freehanding the pattern. It looks very cool when we get all this done. Hello, Greg Block. Welcome. Hello, Daddy SpongeBob. Good day. Uh, and, <laughs> hey, Daddy. <laughs> Welcome. It is a pleasure to have all these new folks pop in. Welcome. I primarily stream Minecraft here on the channel. Uh, every other week, I have a Dungeons & Dragons story podcast series that I stream live. Uh, I've been running and writing the same Dungeons Dragons campaign storyline for uh, 34 years at this point. Maybe 35. And so I've been telling the story for the last several years. Also as an audio podcast on all your favorite audio, audio podcast networks. That was me pimping myself. I, I, get, I get crap from my mods and friends that I need to talk about my stuff more and I always forget. <laughs> Uh, wait, how long does it take you to fill up a black hole storage something? Okay, that is a great question. And it takes forever. Um, well, what, Moon Juice? Um, it takes a very long time, unfortunately. Uh, the fastest thing that I've found to fill it up has been cobblestone. Let me show you. I know I keep leaving what I'm working on, but I like to answer questions in real time. Uh, so, 
Here's what I'm doing, and this still takes a long time. But uh, this over here, in the bottom corner, right over here, I have a black hole unit with maximum size uh, cobblestone generators feeding into it. Now, you'd think that you could add more to this, but you can't because the pipes can only transfer so many at a time. If you can find out a different pipe or pipe to use that'll transfer faster, do that. And please, for the love of God, tell me how you did it. Um, I also am using some of these to wirelessly, wirelessly, stumble, uh, directly put cobblestone right into this. Um, so that is also a way you can do it, but it still can only take things at a certain speed. Eventually you'll get to the point where it's just going to back up because the black hole tank can't take more. Now, a bl or black hole unit. Black hole tank, liquid, much faster to do. You do the same thing with maximum size uh, uh, in, in infinite water blocks. I had it filled up in just a couple days. So the water one's super fast to do. The black hole unit's a little bit slower. Holy hell, we do have 133 people. My God, I don't think I've ever hit that. Wow, thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for coming by. I so much appreciate that. Hello, Hirakan, 128. That's phenomenal. Minecraft. You'll love Minecraft, man. Minecraft is my jam. Uh, let's see what we got here. What's my age? I am about to turn uh, 47 next month. I'm so old. But yeah, oh, I've... I've if I tell you, do the last shot I was supposed to do? Sorry, I do a shot anytime somebody donates 10 bucks. Extra Life Charity stream at the top of the channel. If you donate, please tell me. We're trying to help a friend raise money for Children's Miracle Network. I do Extra Life Charity throughout the year as well. Uh, but we're helping Teresa, who's a good friend and moderator of the channel, who's trying to raise a goal of $100. We've hit $60. She's at $60 so far. Um, just trying to help her hit her donation goal for wonderful, wonderful. Uh, but Welcome. Uh, perturb, perturb, perturb. Watch Minecraft 2? Excellent. Yeah, I stream Minecraft here every Sunday and Monday. And then every other Friday is Merged Worlds, my Dungeons & Dragons podcast. And on the off Fridays, I'm over on Twitch, where I do whatever I feel like. That's where I usually do other games. I tried streaming other games here on YouTube, but people just kept showing up and saying, Hey, where's the Minecraft? <laughs> so I was like, well, you know, that's what people know me for here. I don't want to mess with it. Okay, that, that was too much glass. I broke too many glasses. I'm too strong for my own good. And not by smell. I'm a little smelly, but overall I'm okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. Welcome. It's a pleasure to have everybody. Uh, like the background too. Oh, thank you. I've been working on it. I've got a cool Minecraft light that I need to hang up. It's a light. I got that at Christmas. And I've got a Dungeons & Dragons clock I've got to put up that I haven't put up yet. But I'm always trying to tweak it a little bit. Love when you get drunk. Yeah, that happens. That happens. Last last stream of the month is uh, is double shot night. So for every ten dollar donation, I do two shots, and the community has got me quite for schnickered on occasion. Uh, let's see. We'll do a double angle here. We're gonna get the floor done first, so it's easier to see where I'm working at. Uh, what class and race are you in D and D? So I primarily DM. Uh, so I I do all the NPCs. So I have like every class and race. So Merged Worlds is a homebrew Dungeons & Dragons world that I've been building and writing on for 30 plus years. Um, Merged Worlds, imagine if something happened. Part of the story. Something happens. And every world in existence explodes into atoms. And then instantly crams back together. And a chunk of every world is taken to form this new massive huge world plane of existence and merging all these worlds together. So you've got races and classes. It allowed me to use every form of D&D. I got Dragonlance, I got Dark Sun, Forgotten Realm, Ravenloft. I could pull in anything I wanted, plus my own homebrew stuff. Um, and it's a plane of existence. It's, it's not just a world. The world is so big that if you were to hop on a horse and go from one side to the other, and you did not stop to eat, sleep, and or shit, it would take you three years to cross. And no one from one corner have ever met the bottom. So everybody's trying to go out and figure out what happened and how to get home, or can you fix what has happened? And that's the primary story of Merge Worlds, people trying to create a whole new world. Um, and then, um, on top of that, uh, with the whole Merge World concept, the worlds don't actually merge, right? Like, let's say, for example, you're walking in the desert, and then suddenly you're walking in the snow. You'd think that in the middle of that, it becomes swampy marsh, right? Where the two things, but it doesn't. The lines stay. So you never know when you're going to walk into a completely different type of territory. And it's interesting. I, I really, uh, it, I, I've enjoyed running it, and I, I'm about to run, a, my, my actual group, I'm about to run 
uh, they're going to play evil characters for the first time, which are also going to have an effect on the Merge World story and will become part of canon, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, favorite character class, though? To be honest with you, I'm boring, man. I like a human mage. I'll run a human mage any day of the week. Uh, I just like the feel of it. As a human, you don't live that long, so you feel like you're rushed, right? You feel like you've got to get things done fast. you got to get power, right? Quick as you possibly can. Um, and so I just kind of like the way that that builds up. Uh, other than that, I like a Kender Rogue or any type of Minotaur fighter, um, which are very common on Merge World. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, you just me drunk or buy. <laughs> I'm all about that, man. Oh, did we get some donations, Teresa? Oh, goodness. It looks like we got three donations worth of shots. Hell yeah. Mage, you mean wizard. Kind of. So, I play second edition. I'm getting out moonshine. We're doing a frosted orange Tennessee moonshine today. Incredibly potent and not very good. Um... The butterscotch from this this maker was much better. Uh, I play second edition, but my 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 world and my D and D has become so homebrew that there's a mix of everything in it. Like I said, I've been running it a very long time. I have books and binders and pages, shelves worth of cities and NPCs, designing my own magic types, the spells, items, artifacts. I have a ton of stuff. Um, that I've been building this world out for years. Uh, so mage is its own classification. So in my world, mages will choose a specialty. Like you could be a sea mage. You work on ships. Specifically, you learn things to make wind and fire for fighting on the, on, on the oceans. You could choose specialty of creating magic items and artifacts. You could be a rune master. So there's different types of specialties you can choose when you get to a certain level of a mage. Um, or you could, that's a wizard. Or you could be a mage who's just purely generalized and can learn anything. Shot, here we go. <laughs> that is not good. My goodness. I'm trying to keep up with chat. I apologize. I, I do my very best to make sure I answer everything in chat. And if I miss something... Please let me know, because <laughs> I definitely de hate to miss chat. Um, definitely play second edition, 2, 2.5. I know I owe three shots at this point. Teresa, if you can keep me in the loop, I'd appreciate it. Uh, this is going to be the second of those. Um, so anyways, this room is coming coming along. Hopefully you guys aren't too bored by what I'm doing. I We've been achievement getting. Uh, we've almost got every achievement in Sky Factory 4 again. I stream Sky Factory 4 regularly. And then I switch to another pack, a couple different packs for a while, then we'll come back to it. Because Sky Factory is what people know me for, and most of my tutorials are that. Although I do tutorials for other mod packs and stuff as well. Um, I'm not worried about any of the glass I lose. If you're worrying, hey, you dropped your glass, it's okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see here. Um, but yeah, yeah, so the D&D &D Merge World stuff is big. We're going to run an evil character group. Um, and for those of you out there who have been listening and been watching Merge Worlds for a while, uh, this will make sense to you. That's not where that goes. Um, but, uh, oh, these take forever to break. I hate when I misplace one. Uh, the evil characters are going to be specifically chosen by their gods to affect the decision. Break! Lag. Oh, wait, I actually wanted that. So I'm breaking the glass to replace it with frames. So I'm trying... This is Minecraft Sky Factory 4 mod pack. Which reminds me, I gotta go check on my reactor and make sure we're not having a meltdown. We're trying to get a, 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 an achievement for this reactor, which is to make 300... Sorry, 3,333,333 RF per tick. I've made the maximum size reactor. We're up to 74.7 efficiency. I believe it's 97% we have to hit in order to be able to hit it. I should check on fuel. Please still be good. Oh, good. We're doing great on fuel. So these are fusion reactors. That's a fission reactor. That's a mechanism fission reactor. Uh, I guess I'll give you guys a bit of a tour. A lot of you folks have never been here before. And thank you all for coming by. I appreciate it. Uh, if you feel like it, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm supposed to say that more often, too. 
work. <laughs> um, so that's what we got over here. Uh, this is my automation and different uh, machine systems set up. Uh, this was for AE storage. This is for phishing. So Sky Factory 4 is a sky block, which means normally you start on one tree floating in the middle of a void. And you break that tree down and use the resources and slowly expand beyond that. Uh, Sky Factory 4 offers different types of starting worlds. And in this one, I started inside this glass room and the rest of the world is all lava. So I had to find a way to expand out into lava to be able to move forward. Um, so give me an example. Lava. So everything outside the world is lava. So I've had to find ways to expand outside and build different rooms and things so that way I could be protected from the lava while still doing all my stuff. I'll fix these holes later. <laughs> I guess I'll fix that one now since it's right here. Where's that other one? There it is. Cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, party pickaxe to break those, pretty sure it's the fastest pickaxe. You are 100% correct. And I like a party pickaxe on occasion. The problem is, as soon as that breaks, the glass behind it will just be obliterated by the party pickaxe if you don't happen to let go at the exact second the block breaks. This already is too powerful. I didn't mean to break that one. Uh, so I do use the party pickaxe when breaking the most harder to break stuff. In fact, I'm getting a little irritated at how easily... I'm going you know, to just do this. It's glass, man. I'll just break it with glass. That'd be way easier. But yeah, breaking the block, you're correct. 100%. Party pickaxe would be infinitely faster. And I probably should use that. If I start doing it missing up a lot, I will 100% do that. Because that, that is a good idea. All right. Put that one there. That one there. Wrapping it around the corners is a little bit more difficult. Because you want to be able to see some of the corner blocks, right? Where's the hole I broke? There it is. So you can't put one right next to it. Get in there. Complete. No! I... Ah! Sorry, I made a mistake. <laughs> uh, bucket. Bucket, bucket. Where's my moon juice bucket? Insanium. That's not moon juice. What happened to my moon juice bucket? Oh, liquid starlight. Yeah, that's it. Never mind. I gotta fix this hole I just made. I'm very mad at myself. There we go. I fixed that some. And now, I just have to... I fell in the hole again. We'll put one of these here. And we'll put one of these here. And then we'll put one here. There we go. That, that way... See, I did not mean to put that one back there. That was a mistake. So this is what happens when you break things too fast. Do you have DC? Now, I apologize. I'm not sure what DC is. I may not know it by that short form. Uh, if you'll clarify for me, I'd be happy to know. Shot. Here we go. <laughs> ah, that is not good. Ah, I know I still owe one more. Ah. Well, that Did that not go away? Oh, it finally did. Leg, man. Mm. Discord, 100%. Yes, I do. Discord, normally, there's a link down in the description of the stream, but somebody mentioned earlier it wasn't working. So if it doesn't, let me see if I can... Uh, I'm not as active on my Discord as I should be, and that is my fault, and I apologize. I try to be. I did post a picture of me from uh, years ago and uh, some of the early D&D &D days and what our group looked like uh, yesterday. I, uh, I spent all day yesterday, uh, I bought a new printer-scanner combo, and I was downloading all of the, all the photographs from my photo albums and stuff, stuff I've, stuff I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, and then I went on my Facebook and just started going crazy loco <laughs> with it. Um, here we go. There is a link to my Discord in chat, right there. Normally I'd pin that, but I have something else pinned. But that is to my Discord. And uh, again, I'm working on trying to make it better. I'm trying to work on a Patreon and figure out all that stuff. All sorts of things to be able to give more stuff back to the community. Uh, I never originally meant to be a streamer by any, any, in any way whatsoever. I started just making the tutorials. 
Uh, but then I'm a big fan of, I used to watch a lot of Rooster Teeth stuff, and they did the Extra Life charity. Um, and I was like, man, I, I, sh I have a bit of a platform now. At the time, I had a little over 1,000 subscribers, and I was like, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some Extra Life. I'm going to try live streaming again, because I'd, I'd stopped streaming on Twitch by this point a long time earlier. Um, and so I did, and it went real well, and I started enjoying it. So I started streaming over here on YouTube again. Uh, I'm leaving a text uh, to you on your Instagram for my brand's account. Looking forward to it. Hey, hey, that's awesome. I, I'll definitely take a look. Thank you. What's suitable for you, Instagram or Discord? Oh, either one's fine. I, I'm got Discord I'm on a lot more often, for sure. I see a lot easier. Instagram, I, again, I don't post as much as I should. I've also got a website, onlydraven.com, that you can access by emails down at the bottom of that page as well, but Discord probably still would be easier. What is the best way to get power? Boy, I'm glad you asked. Okay, so that's going to depend on where you are in the game. If you're early to early mid-game, let me show you. Here's what we're looking at. This is called an upgradable geothermal generator, okay? And it's on an infinite lava loop. So, you take yourself a cobblestone generator and you put an automated user on it facing a cauldron. This is going to put cobblestone in there, which is going to put cobblestone here, turn into lava. Fluid cable goes into here, provides lava, which produces power. That's also what's going to power your user. So when you first build this, you got to kind of kickstart it. You're going to take a stack of cobblestone or two and just start feeding it into this thing. Feed it into the cauldron. And then once this gets enough lava, it'll kick in. And then you just stand back and you let it go. And that'll produce a butt ton of power. Which for the record, is so much power, it's a ton of a butt. And then you can uh, put a flux on top. Or you can run it through a, a wireless in Sky Factory 4 using Cyclic's uh, wireless power uh, nodes. So I'm using, I started off with a bunch of them in a compact machine. They're all connected to flux. Each one produces a fair amount of power. And if I feel like I'm not getting enough power, I just build two or three more. It's super easy to do, and it'll power you early to mid, mid late game. Now, once you get into late game and you start needing some serious power, you want to start with a fission reactor from nuclear craft. Now, this is a maximum size fission reactor. It's the biggest you can build it. And I'm only using one corner of it right now, using coolants and such. But I did that because I was trying to get the achievement right here. Build a 24 by 24 by 24 nuclear craft fission reactor and make 25,000 RF per tick. This is enough to give me. But you can keep adding more into it and it'll keep making more and more and more power. I have tutorials on my channel that show you how to build a fission reactor of any size, and then how to power it at any size. After that, you have the nuclear craft fusion reactors. There are achievements for this, but it is, in my opinion, the hardest achievement to get in Sky Factory 4. Okay, I still owe another shot. Let me pour that while I'm talking. I'm starting to feel a little buzzed. You guys have had me do like six shots today in the last hour or so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're a little bit harder. So I recommend this bad boy right here. This is not an achievement in Sky Factory 4. This is a mechanism fusion reactor. Okay? It's very easy to build, comparatively speaking, to this. It's not as easy as this, but it's easy to build. I have tutorials that show you how to build it, how to make the different fuels for it, and how to automate it. And this thing, once you get it up and going, makes a horrendous amount of power for the fuel that it takes. And once you get your fuel automated, like this one uses lithium dust, which turns it into tri tritium. And then the second fuel is deuterium. Deuterium is super easy to make. So overall, it's very easy. This will make you a butt ton of power, and you can add it to your flux network right here. But I would start with the upgradable geothermal. And again, I have a tutorial on my channel of how to build an upgradable geothermal uh, on an infinite lava loop. It's what I recommend starting with. And you build three or four of these, that's going to last you hours upon hours of game time. So much power comes from these that when you're running just your basic machines, you're fine. It's not until you start automating really big processes or try to jumpstart other reactors that need power that you're going to need something meatier. If that makes sense, I hope it did. If not, let me know and I'll try to go into a bit more detail.
Uh, let me see. What do we got here? Uh, Skyfire. Right? Is YouTube or Twitch your full-time job? No, it is not. I'm actually an admissions advisor for DeVry University. So I help people get into college. Uh, I help fill out the application, go through all the steps to get you enrolled, get you set up, and get you into classes. I'm not a salesman. I don't work on commission. I'm just there to help people who want to go to school. Uh, bef I just started that job in uh, November, October, October. Before that, I worked for U.S. Cellular, the cell phone company, in Get the Yell That section. That was me. If you are mad about something or angry or want to speak to a supervisor, you came to old dad. I was in the escalations department. Uh, and for the record, anytime you ever ask to speak to a supervisor on the phone, you are not being put on the phone with a supervisor. And if you talk, ask to speak to that person's supervisor, they're just going to transfer you to another person on their team. You're never really going to speak to a supervisor. I've worked as a supervisor, I've worked as a, a, this type of role in multiple call centers, collection agencies, security companies, ADT security, things like that. Um, uh, you're never going to reach a supervisor, man. D doesn't matter how many times you complain. They're just going to pass you around to other people on their team who's going to say they're the supervisor of the last person. And that's what they're supposed to do. Most supervisors in a call center have the mentality of, now that I'm a supervisor, I never have to talk to a customer again. You do it. <laughs> and, you know, I can't say everyone's like that, but most of them are. But now I work in a position that I don't get yelled at. It's one of the best call center jobs I've ever had. And I just get to help people who want to go to school. It's wonderful. I love it. Uh, I work a great shift. So that's my full-time job. Uh, my wife is disabled and on disability, so she can't work. So I have to have a full-time job that's going to provide full medical benefits. Uh, she had brain surgery a few years back. Had to have a small growth removed from inside of her brain. She had five to eight seizures a day. Now she has maybe two or three a month. It's so much better. But she can't drive and her hands shake from all the medication. I'm not trying to pity you. I'm just telling you guys. So I always have to have a job that provides really good medical. I'd have to be massive on YouTube to ever get to a point to be able to afford to do that myself. So this is probably always going to be like a second job thing. But man, this is what I love doing. This is so much fun. Um... I, I literally can't wait to get off work so I can jump online and do stuff with people. Uh, I just like video games. And I like helping people. I've worked in the training department uh, and human resource department for several companies. I went to China for a little while. Helped set up their training department for a large auto parts manufacturer that I work for. So I've been very involved with training and education on a professional side. So jumping into teaching tutorials and showing people how to do stuff. Uh, in a way that's fun, uh, is something that I've always enjoyed. So this just gave me an opportunity to get a much wider audience. I apologize if I miss chat. I'm going to drink this shot, and then I think I'm caught up. And I'm a little buzzed. i got to work in the morning. You guys are villains. Here we go. <laughs> oh, God. It's so bad. Okay. So, yes, on this channel, $10 shot, or $10 donation... I do a shot. I do special things as well. Last YouTube stream of the month is always double shot month or double shot night where I will make double shots for every $10 donation. Um, and we do charity stuff all the time. Our next month, June, is charity month. Uh, and in June, we do animal charities. So uh, we'll be, uh, as always, we, we support a charity called Foras, F-O-R-A-S, Friends of Oak Ridge Animal Shelter. I live in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Um, and the animal shelter here is a wonderful non-kill shelter. And Foras helps support them with both taking care of animal vet bills and things of that nature and making sure um, that uh, fostering, so that way we can maintain a no-kill shelter. My wife and I do not have children, nor will we. Um, so animals are very important to us. Uh, we have two cats that we love very much. Little Buffy might show up here in a little while. If she shows up, I'll show you. Buffy's my special kitty. Um, send your text, but there's an error because you're not my friend there. Add me and let me know once you're available to talk. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I don't normally keep Discord up. Can you? Will it let you send me a friend invite? If so, let me know. Send me one and I'll uh, I'll, I'll accept it. I'm a little buzzed right now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. A little bit fuzzy. But 100%. Yeah, I'd be happy. I'd be love to talk to you. 
fission reactor, but it's using way too much fuel and it's struggling to keep up. I made my automated farms a bit too big. Legit. Totally, totally understand you, Liam. Let me help you. Uh, so, so for fission reactor, what fuel are you using? So I recommend TBU fuel. It's the easiest and cheapest fuel to make. And that might be what you're using. All it takes is thorium, okay? Now, thorium, you can mine or you can use mystical agriculture or you can do laser drills. I get all mine from laser drills. Um, and it usually keeps up with my output. Um, I, I, I usually do okay with that. So um, I would recommend laser drills if you make a bunch of them. I'm trying to see if I can pull up Discord. Discord always looks funky when I'm streaming. I gotta turn off that gaming mode thing. I will get that fixed. Um, next time, drink Eric, the best alcoholic drink. I don't know what that is. I'm a licensed bartender, and I don't know what that is. I'm not even that much of a drinker, to be honest with you. I never actually drank until I started streaming. I'm I'm an I'm an entertainer by nature. I was a stand-up comedian for when I was younger. Um, I've worked in different haunted houses and theme park type things where I had entertainment roles. Uh, magician. I did magic tricks for a little while. Um, I like making people laugh, especially. Uh, which is why I sometimes post nudes. I'm just kidding. I don't post nudes. <laughs> but, you know, I like making people laugh. I like entertaining people. So when I got back from China... Um, I had, I'd made quite a bit of money by going to, this isn't a brag, I'm just telling you the truth. I made quite a bit of money by going to China. My company paid me well to go there for four months. Uh, and it was a wonderful experience. I got to do so much cool stuff in China and see, I got to see the, uh, pagoda. No, that's wrong. Wild Goose Pagoda. I got to see the Terracotta Warriors. I got to climb the Great Wall. Let me tell you a Great Wall story. Hold on a minute. You guys are going to like this. Some of you guys are new here. You're going to love this. Great wall story. So right off the bat, something you may not have realized, I'm a fat son of a bitch. I'm a big guy. I understand that. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I realize that. I'm a big dude. I lost a lot of weight after having weight loss surgery, but then I had a bunch of personal stuff came in and I gained all my weight back during the pandemic. I'm a big dude. And when I went to China, I was the biggest dude I ever saw in China. So my boss, who I didn't really like very much at the time. We're cool now. Uh, I haven't seen him in person in years, but he ended up being a cool guy. He set it up so we could go see the Great Wall of China while we were in Beijing. And when we show up, it's a fort in a valley, okay? A fort that protected the Great Wall. And then the stairs go up the frickin' mountain on both sides. And so we get there, we get our picture taken. I have some pictures. I'll post them on Discord tomorrow. For those of you who may have never seen my China pictures, I'll post a few. Um, and we get there, and they're like, you can go up to the seventh tower. That's as far as you can go. And I can't even see the seventh tower. My vision's okay. It's just very up there. So him and I start going up the stairs to get to this, okay? I am not a guy built for stairs. Shocking from my athletic figure, but I know <laughs> I am not built for stairs. So as we're climbing up these stairs to climb, he's like, listen, man, I can't handle heights and I'm exhausted. We hadn't even made it to the first tower yet. He's like, I can't do this. I'm going back down. And I'm like, man, I agree with you. I hate heights and I feel like I'm about to have a heart attack. But I'm never going to get this opportunity again. You know what I mean? Never going to have an opportunity like this again. And I'm like, if I'm going to go out, I want to go up on top. And by on top, I mean of these towers. I'm going to keep going. The towers were very wide, but the stairs were very small. I'm not trying to be right. The people are smaller there. That's just how it works. Um, and when you're walking up the stairs, it's like stepping in cereal bowls. Because people have been going up and down these stairs for like 2,000 freaking years. They've worn away the stones, so it's not flat anymore. And there's a bar you can hold on to, but it's barely knee height because I'm way taller than everybody else. 
So I'm going up, and then every so often I just kind of move to the middle, and I sit down, and I take a break, and I take a few pictures of the countryside and stuff. And, and people are walking by and waving at me, and people looked at me with open mouth wonder, being a biggest guy as I am, because there was nobody else my size over there, right? And so I get up, and I keep going. It took me two and a half hours, round trip. But I finally make it to the very top of this thing. Probably stopped and took 50 breaks. I'm not going to say this was an amazing achievement. I stopped a lot. But I get to the very top of the Great Wall of China, the seventh tower. And I get up there. And there's a bunch of all these little Asian folks around me. And I kid you not, man, they started applauding. People were clapping and cheering me because they're like, this fat dude made it. That was not easy for us skinny people. Well done, sir. I think that's what they were saying. I don't speak Chinese. They might have been said, who is this guy and why is he in my country? I don't know. But they were like, you know, they were clapping. So I assumed it was positive. And I took a nice break and I took some cool pictures. And it was a wonderful experience to say, hey, I did this. And then it was time to go back down. And going downstairs is always easier than up. But at that moment, as I looked down at the stairs, which went down, stopped at a tower, turned, went down, stopped at a tower, went down, turned, stopped at a tower. All I could think is, if I trip, I'm going to kill a hundred people. My fa <laughs> I'm going to be Indiana Jones rolling down the mountain. <laughs> I'm going to kill all these poor local folks that all they wanted was to climb the Great Wall of China. Uh, but it was cool. It was a very fun experience. Uh, I got to see a lot of cool stuff in China. Uh, I'm using uranium-238. I think it's called, not for sure. Okay, so see, so uranium is good. Uh, there's nothing wrong with uranium. It is harder to get a hold of, so you're going to have a bit harder time keeping up with it. Um, are you trying to use it as your primary power source, or are you trying to use it just to get the achievement? If you're just trying to get the achievement, in fact, in either case, I'm still going to recommend that you use TBU fuel because it's so much easier to put together. It doesn't feel like it produces as much power. And to be honest with you, it doesn't. But I could have sworn I made a hold there. Um, that's what she said. I, but overall, I, 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 I think that in the long run, power versus fuel, it's still going to provide most of what you need. Give a shot with TBU first. Or another thing you could do, you could double it up. You don't have to use just one fuel. Get some TBU fuel going as well. And it'll switch from one to the other. You can feed more than one fuel in there. Use TBU fuel to supplement your power, your, your fuel. So that way you have, while it's making the other fuel you use, it still has something to burn. It might be a little bit slower. May not get quite as much power out of it while the TBU is running. But in the long run, you're going to have continuous fuel. So you may want to set that up. TBU fuel is very, very easy to automate. So I would I would check that out. Uh, one card trying to get all the achievements, but I'm struggling to fill a black hole unit. How do you do that? You know, uh, Liam, 100% boss, we just talked about that. It takes forever. It really does. I know some of you guys were here and you already saw this. I'm going to show them again, though. So here's what I do for that. Uh, and it still takes forever. Uh, full black holes. So what I've done here, if you look in, I've got a black hole unit. And I have the maximum size cobblestone generators feeding into it on six sides. Using item extraction cables and item cables from Cyclic. I also have more cobblestone generators using item wireless to feed into it as well. Now, it, you will get to a point where it can only take so many so far. And you think, hey, maybe I should fill this in and put more in. Don't bother. The cables can only handle this many at a time. Anything else, it's just going to clog up. It's not going to go any faster. The wireless helps. That said, it's still going to take a long time, like hours upon hours. I'm halfway there, and I've been running this a couple weeks, mostly on stream. Um, but that's still the fastest route how I've been able to find to do it. That is not the way I wanted to go. Whoop, looks like most of our folks are leaving. Hey, I want to thank uh, very much 
uh, Lol, you mad for popping in and bringing so many folks with him. Thank you so much for showing up today and having your friends hang out with us for a little while. I greatly appreciate it. it was, it's been a long time since I've seen that many people watching, and maybe only once or twice have we ever seen a number like that. So thank you very much for hanging with us, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, Eric is mostly made of grapes and aniseed, giving a distinct licorice taste. You don't normally drink it bland. Mix it with lemonade, but it's even good if you don't drink it. Now, when you say licorice tape, do you mean black licorice? Or, like, Twizzlers? Like, what kind of licorice are you talking about? I did not mean to do that. Because I like all licorice. I enjoy black licorice. I'm just wondering, overall, what type of licorice flavor could I be expecting at that point? All right, so are you guys getting bored at seeing me do this? You're getting an idea of what this is going to look like. I'll finish this room today. I'm not going to make you guys watch me do the whole room. I just wanted you to get your feel for it. By the time we stream tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern, Monday, um, I will have this room done, and you'll be able to see what the whole room looks like. And then we'll figure out a use for it. I don't normally build the room and then figure out a use for it, but we'll do it. All right, let's put some of this stuff away. And let's start working on some more bigger projects. Let's see what we got. Fusion Reactor. How you look, buddy? Ooh, 84.9. 6443K. Four, four, KRF. I do not know how to do the math to figure out whether or not that is how close we are to 3,333,333. But we're getting there. And our efficiency is looking good. Now, we hit 99 efficiency. I'm going to have to add more coolers because then we're going to have to worry about things running over. I, again, also would like to thank everybody who helped donate to Extra Life Charity today, helping Teresa hit her goal. Uh, looks like she is currently at 90%. $90 of 100 That is awesome. That is awesome. Even if we don't hit it today, but she's only $10 away. If somebody will donate $10 to the extra life charity link at the top of the chat I'll do not one but two shots and you know I'll do them quickly before this starts to fade uh, liquid hydrogen's looking good we're still doing good on fuel lots of good on fuel we are doing very well we may get this achievement by the end of the day it's going to be close it's going to be close we'll definitely have it by tomorrow 85.2 efficiency. Okay, let's take a look at where we're at achievements. What we can do is start putting things together for matter overdrive, but first I have to go check on my moon juice production. Moon juice. All right, here's moon juice production. If you weren't here the last step, why is there snow in a lava world? That's the world. Everything you've seen so far is deep, deep beneath this. This is build height. You can't build any higher than this. I can go higher, but you can't build any higher. Down there is everything you've seen me running around in all day. But up here is where I'm building moon juice, because I need moonlight for that. Uh, it's not called moon juice. It's called liquid starlight, but the process is the same. So we did figure out you can use an automated user. These chests are full of these crystals, which are called rock crystals, which are feeding them into a light well. The light well then melts those down, into moon juice, liquid starlight, and I'm wirelessly transmitting that down to a black hole tank down in my base. I've got four of them running, and it's making a lot. So that is a good way to automate your liquid starlight. It's the first time we've ever put that together, and I think that that's going to be very good moving forward. And it's got more than enough crystals to last a day or two, so we're good there. All right. Let's take a look at the achievements. What do we got? Man, we are so close. We need one... Two, three, four achievements to finish them all. I think I've done all the shots. If I'm short a shot, tell me, and I'll do one. And I'm trying to keep an eye on Teresa's page, because I think she had to leave early today. But I'm trying to keep an eye. If you did donate to Teresa the link at the top, the Extra Life Charity, please let me know, and I'll confirm it, and I'll make sure we get your shots in. Compressed Netherrack is coming. I'll try to work on that today. Black Hole Unit, we're just waiting for it to do. Uh, matter overdrive fusion reactor. That's what's next. That's the last one. Let's start the process, right? Let's build ourselves a matter overdrive reactor. 
This is a chunk of power. Technically, it's the best reactor because it's broken and it can make near infinite amount of power. But it also can create a large amount of lag and destroy your world if you're not careful. All right. Gravitational stabilizers. We're going to need some of these. We're going to need a bunch of stuff. I'm going to need a holographic sign. Okay. I wonder how many of these stabilizers I need. I forget. Oh, I need a space-time something or other. Oh, I need stuff for that too. Okay. I need a Heisenberg compensator. Heisenberg. Heisenberg. Isn't that like from a TV show? The one where they told Jesse to cook the meth? I can't think of the name of the show. What did I run out of? Gold? Crap. Okay, we've run out of components. I need isolinear circuits MK2. So I need ones and gold. Okay. Isolinear. How many have I got? 106? Oh, that's, that's plenty. We'll just make 10. And some gold. Uh, for that, I need this guy. This guy is a little bit harder to automate. You can do it. But it's not very fat. Breaking Bad. Thank you very much, Liam. I greatly appreciate that. <laughs> you know, I've never watched it. I've only seen it on TikTok. But you can't escape the memes, right? It's like Game of Thrones. I couldn't get into Game of Thrones. I watched two seasons. Couldn't get into it. I tried, though. My wife really liked it. The problem was, I only cared about, like, two characters. And so I'd be watching an hour-long episode and maybe get five minutes or ten minutes of the character I cared about. Did you try shawarma? No, you know, I don't think I've ever seen a place around my area that sells shawarma. But you've intrigued me. I'm going to Google it. Shawarma. Mm -hmm. Shawarma. Let's see. Does anywhere near me sell this? Uh, we will go to Yelp. Well, who has the best shawarma near my town? Firehouse Subs. There's no way that Subs has that. Okay, I might have spelled it wrong. Let me go back. Okay, I, I've spelled it right now. Let me try it again. Let me, let me go to the... Instead of my town, let me try the city near me. My town's kind of small. Oh, wow. There's a house of shawarma in my city nearby. How intriguing. Let me see where they're at. Let me see what shawarma looks like. Uh, it looks like a bowl with raw meat and stuffing. And some type of green vegetable. I don't know if that's shawarma. What is shawarma again? I'm going to make sure I'm ordering the right thing. There's a house of shawarma. Let me see what this place is. House, they've got a website, houseofshwarma.com. That's pretty good. Uber DoorDash. Well, as interesting as that would be. Let me see. Menu. Sandwiches. They got a falafel, a chicken shawarma wrap, a gyro wrap. Isn't that gyro? I think that's how you pronounce that. Melted fresh mozzarella. Ooh, now that sounds good. Hummus. I don't like hummus. I can't eat hummus. Hummus is gross. I tried hummus and pesto for the first time on the same day. And I like pesto. I did not like hummus. A, a gyro, a swish to wook. That's interesting. Marinated chicken. Okay, that sounds bad. A fatouche salad. Wow, there's a lot of things I've never heard of. Chicken shawarma salad? Oh, they have cheesecake. And baklava. I've always wanted to try that. I'm not sure how I feel about soda cans at $2 a piece. I don't drink soda, but that's the only thing they have listed. Oh, all that chicken shawarma plate. A plate of thinly sliced chicken shawarma over basmati rice served with salad and rice. But I don't know what shawarma is. 
It says it's going to give me a thing of shawarma, but I don't know what that is. Let me go back to chat. Uh, right now, your Macron Raptor is making six million arms. Why aren't I getting the achievement? Uh, I have to go back and check that in a second. Uh, filled with uh, shawarma is a wrap. Oh, it's a wrap. Okay. Maybe I misread that. Meat, hummus, and vegetables. Ooh, hummus, huh? Mmm, that's going to make things harder. Taboo, America, why? <laughs> that's funny, kick. I don't know, man. You know how it is down here, man. People, you put salad on something and it tricks people into think they're eating healthy food. Well, I am not currently making enough power. So I'm generating six... 6613 KRF per tick. So currently that is less than 3 million. According to the math of Sky Factory. Where are you from? Okay, Omar, if you're asking me, I live in East Tennessee, United States. I'm originally from Southern Ontario, Canada. Although I've lived down here in the U.S. since I was... 14, 1992. Um, I'm actually in the process of becoming an American citizen. I just took my test and everything this past Monday and I passed it all. So now I'm just waiting on notification of when to go do my swearing in ceremony. My wife's here. My job's here. I don't ever see me going back to Canada. I've been here three quarters of my life at this point. I don't expect to ever return home to you out to Canada. Except for maybe to visit. Yeah, I need to make three million three hundred thirty three thousand three hundred thirty three RF per tick. And currently right now it's saying I'm not making that much. But I wanna say you have to hit ninety seven percent to be making that much. This number is increasing, albeit slowly. We'll come back and check it. All right, let's see. Oddly enough, being Canadian, I used to know a lot more about um, <laughs> metric system and stuff. I just don't use it as much anymore. Although the metric system is superior. Some people disagree with me on that, and that's okay. Those people are called wrong. I just don't get to use it very much. All right, what am I missing now? Plates. Titanium plates. Let's build up a few of those and get these in there. All right. So I know I need to build a gravitational stabilizer, but I can't remember how many I need. Once again, I'm dooming myself to go back and watch my own tutorials. <laughs> I know it. I know that's going to happen. I'm going to have to go back and take a look at it. Um... Yeah, RF, so that's an RF tick. If possible. Again, I'd be honest with you, Tyler. I'm, the math does not, not do it for me. I do not know. Follow out more pictures from on Google if you look up in Hebrew. Copy and paste this world. Okay, I will do that after chat. How old is the first stuff for Star Trek that you have the name? How old is the first stuff for Star Trek that you have the name? Are you asking me, like, when did the original Star Trek come out? Uh, let's see. Star Trek. Originally released in the 60s. I was born in 77. Uh, for those of you who may not know what he's referencing, I was named after Captain Kirk. My real father was a huge Trekkie. Uh, in fact, I have a brother named Scotty. True story. So I was named after Star Trek. Is this... Uh, I play Sky Factory. It's a different star map. Uh, that one, Arab Doob. You are correct. That is correct. This is Sky Factory 4, but it's using the Lava Factory start map. So the Lava Factory start map, you just, there's no dirt here. You just start in a glass room with one tree. And then it's like regular Sky Factory, except all the world, these blocks aren't there. It's all lava. I put the blocks there to look better. 
but it's all lava everywhere in the world. So that's why I have obsidian. The easiest way I found to expand early on when I had very little resources was to break a block, put water in it, and just keep doing that slowly moving forward. Took a while. Uh, the key to this pack was to get a wand. Uh, let me get that for you here. This thing right here. That is not it. This thing. An antimatter evaporator can delete lava blocks. Once I got a hold of that, this pack, the, the starting world became cake. Um, uh, I was sure Star Trek was from the same age, like 70s Star Trek is 10 years older. That's correct. Yeah, so original was in the 60s. I think it was late 60s. But well, the original series was in the 60s, and the next generation came out in the 80s, of which that was my real introduction to Star Trek. I was old enough to enjoy it. Um, matter overdrive. All right, so I'm gonna need some machine hoe. Let's make a stack of those. Um, fusion reactor controller. Probably gonna need one of those, right? I think that's safe to assume. Where'd it go? There it is. I need a nice linear diamond. Okay. Okay, grab one of those. Um, hummus is one of the best foods there are. Um, I don't know, man. I've had hummus. I've had homemade hummus from people who are all about the authentic. I just don't like hummus. Why you no work? Oh, because I got to put that in there. I just don't like hummus. I'm not a fan of the beans. Come visit Israel. Provide, Man, if I had the time and money to go to Israel, I kid you not. It'd be cool, though. I'd love to do something like that. It just would be hard for me to, with my wife being disabled, to just bug her off for a week or two and leave her here kind of thing, you know? Delicacies that will ever enter your mouth. There are a lot of different ways I could joke about that comment, but I'm not going to. <laughs> not that popular. My wife loves hummus. I blew her away when I said I didn't like it. Isn't it made from chickpeas? Now, for the record, I want to clarify. I did not know that when I tried hummus. But I hate peas. Like, any peas. I don't like peas at all. Peas are the devil. They're the worst food in existence. I won't eat peas. Even as a baby, I wouldn't eat mashed peas. Because they're the devil. I don't like peas, nor will I ever. And I feel chickpeas are just too common with peas. And that might be my problem. All right, so there's four of those. Controller. All right, so we've got the controller. That's good. By the way, thank you everybody for coming by and hanging out with me today. If you haven't already, it'd be super cool if you would consider clicking like and subscribe. Uh, so that way you can hang out with me all the time. And by the time, I mean mostly Sundays and Monday evenings. I used to stream a little bit more, but I did have to step back just a little bit. You don't like Black Eyed Peas. I like absolutely nothing with the name peas in it or food that just has peas in it. I don't like peas in my shepherd's pie. I do like shepherd's pie without peas. I don't. I almost did a search for shepherd's pie. I almost did it. <laughs> But yeah, I just, uh, I can't do it. I just don't like peas of any kind, shape, or form. It's not my jam. Black Eyed Peas, also not a fan of the music. But again, rap, R&B, again, we talked earlier, not my style of music. Not saying it sucks or it's bad or the people that make it aren't talented. I'm sure they are. It's just not a type of music that I enjoy. I have nothing but respect. If I could choose any artistic skill to have, it would be the ability to sing. And I am in nothing but awe from those people who can. All right, I need a bunch of these. 28. I don't know if that's enough. What am I short? More of those again. Okay. I got lots of those. I can make these all day. <laughs> There's a new Foo Fighters song out. Uh, Side of the Glass. Great song. It sounds a little bit like Ozzy to me. To be honest with you. My wife and I are talking about it today. How is your game running so well? I get 15 to 20 FPS in my main area. Nope, you are making sense. When I first started playing Sky Factory 4, 
uh, I struggled. In fact, when I first started streaming, it would crash at least once or two, twice a stream. It would take like 20 minutes to boot back up again. I'd have to just vamp and chat with people. Uh, but I built my PC, and at least at the time that I built it, it was pretty, it was pretty a monster. Um, I'm running 16 gigabytes of RAM allocated to Sky Factory 4. Uh, if you're not familiar with how to allocate more uh, RAM to the pack, let me know. I'll link you the tutorial, or you can Google it. I have one. How to allocate more RAM to your Minecraft mod pack. Uh, you gotta, you got to bump the RAM up, and some packs even more so. Uh, most packs, I think, will let you do a maximum of 16. All of my mod packs I pull from the Curse Forge launcher. So uh, I use it prime, uh, almost exclusively at this point. Um, but 16 gigabytes of RAM is usually what I allocate to any pack that I'm playing. Uh, I could feasibly do more if I wasn't streaming as well, but I don't want to overtax the PC if I can help it, right? Um, let me see here. Give me a minute. YouTube... You pull up YouTube. Don't make weird noises, YouTube. I don't need that from you right now. We had 25,000 subscribers the other day. That's awesome. I can't tell you how excited I was to hit that milestone. That has been a long time coming. We've been working on it for a while, and I appreciate everybody who's stuck with me this whole time. It, uh, it's definitely appreciated. I, you know, For me, it's not about becoming a famous YouTuber. I'm, I'm not excited. I, I have a job. That provides benefits to my family. That's that's what I'm going to be doing for probably the rest of my life. But uh, it just gives me more chance to talk and hang out with more people. And I love that. That is it for me. Um, that is the tutorial on how to add more RAM to your pack. Uh, let's see. Um, let me catch up with chat here. I lost a couple. Uh, do you ever play with people too? Yes. Occasionally we do run servers Usually, they're going to be allocated for people who are part of our membership program. So YouTube has memberships just like Twitch has subs. Uh, and I've Twitch subs get access to it. YouTube members get access to it. And here at the end of the month, when I release my new Patreon, Patreon members will have access to it as well. And I'll be firing back up a server. We probably will do a vanilla server to start. Um... But yes, occasionally we do do stuff with uh, that. I also have an old world save from a server where I built a bunch of Let's Play challenges for the community that I'm thinking of firing back up on a, on a small server temporarily and inviting a few people in to participate. So uh, we may take a look at that as well here in the near future. But yes, occasionally that does happen, yes. Um, some pass goes 12, 16, Java does not handle one more. Than That's correct, Lex is correct on that. Works fine for me. I never felt the need to have more RAM. On Sky Factory 4, I agree. 8 would probably be fine. Um, depending on what else you're running in the background. If you're streaming, sometimes it can make a little bit more work. Uh, all the mods 8. I think I had to go a minimum of 12 to get it to run smoothly. Uh, new stuff is 100% compatible. That's correct. Lex is correct there as well. 20 gigabyte allocated, but still only 15, 20 FPS. I was building automated obsidian farm. Makes around a stackish per tick, and it crashed seven times. Well, it's possible. You can build things stronger than the game can handle. 100%. It can happen. Let's see. Power's good. We're at 89.7% efficiency. I just dropped my snack. I'm eating pepperoni cheese loaf. It's bread with pepperoni and cheese cooked into it. It's delicious. I buy it at Kroger. You got 20 minutes left, ma'am. I'm afraid we're not going to hit this. And you guys are going to we'll have to do it first thing in the morning. Or first thing beginning of tomorrow's stream. I'm genuinely surprised it leveled this. Removing all the coolant made a huge difference. I could slap more coolant on to make it more survivable. But this would slow down. At the same time, I could remove coolant, but then I'm concerned we may have a meltdown. We've kind of hit a happy medium here. This is leveling up way faster than I'm used to. Uh, let's see. Spent the last three weeks in Sky Factory automating every single tree that I could. All my trees in a line, so I had to come up with a design that was tileable. Okay, gotcha. I'll show you what I do. 
This is my sapling farm. So they're all automated. They've all got blue mulch, which is the fastest mulch possible. They're all in a hopping bonsai, and the hopping bonsai feeds directly into a filing cabinet. I have a file for everything that the sapling can produce. So these just automatically pop directly in. Now, the cables and stuff are behind the wall. I like to hide the wires whenever I can. This one's just obsidian. Let me see here. So you see down here beneath, keep the cables running behind, and then I just kind of put bricks in these spots to make it look a little bit more attractive. Uh, this is every primary sapling, as well as some extras, such as dark oak, uh, dark wood. Uh, that's bacon sapling. What have I got up here? Donut, cookie, prosperity. Got minerals in here somewhere. So yeah, I just feed all of these directly into a filing cabinet. And then all of that stuff builds up. I use a simple storage system. And I have automated crafters, which turns every creates every amber worth having. Some ambers like diamond amber. No, I didn't mean to do that. We're useless. You don't want that. This just makes emeralds. Where's an amber? There we go. And that's cobalt. So this is automated making cobalt amber. Hi, Buffy. My baby kitty's here. So that makes amber upon amber. And then the amber just builds up. So you see, I got lots of amber. And then I've got a, a cable running to each one of the ambers. Full. Hi, baby. I see you. Come here. Mwah. I love you. It's my kitty. So whenever I want some iron, or I want copper, or tin, or whatever, I flip the lever, and whatever's in here will feed into this wireless uh, item which kicks it over into this chest, which feeds down into a compact machine where I have a fully automated smeltery system to pour out whatever I need. So let's just say hypothetically, I want some lead. We flip the lever for a couple minutes. Come here, you. I love my kitties. I have two kitties. I've got Buffy and I've got Patches. They're both little girls. And Buffy's my kitty, 100%. She spends almost all of her time with me. She likes me the most. Yes, I see you. It's not time for treats yet. you got 15 minutes till the stream's over. So here we go. I've been popping lead in, and it still looks full because I have so much in there. But if we go we look in here, you'll see that lead is going to start filling up in here. So it only shows one because it's going in, and it's feeding directly into this chest. So this chest is filling up right now, and then that's feeding into the smeltery, which you can see right there. It's filling up with lead. And as the lead melts, it starts pouring out. So I've got 20 different pour spots on this one. There's room to add more, but 20 was enough. And then those items, everything in those, feeds out through a chest. One comes out to this chest, one comes out to that chest. And then these feed directly into my system, into my ingots. So it stores all the ingots I need here. So and then when I'm like, okay, I've got enough lead, I just turn that one off. So all the basic ambers are automated and ready to go at any given minute. I've got so many ingots now, I haven't messed with it in a while. So I haven't really had to turn any on. Uh, but I can if I need to. Farm is eating your frames. That is correct. Lex is making a good point. So the more visual movement you have, the more lag you're going to have. See how these saplings are moving? Every time your game has to produce a visual effect, whether it be saplings growing or, uh, let's see, uh, this, plants growing, the little water sprinkles, lava moving, right? Every visual effect creates more work for your computer. So the more visual effects you have, the more lag you're basically creating. That's where compact machines come in. Because inside a compact machine, I can have the same farms... And it's doing everything I need it to do, but unless I'm looking at it, there are no visual effects. Nothing is being visually created inside that farm. So in here, this is where I'm automating cobblestone, compressing it. So these are nether seeds, they're making netherrack, not cobblestone, netherrack compressing, I'm sorry. And it's making it into netherrack, which feeds into a packager, 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 and just keeps compressing it more and more and more until we get the octubal one, which is an achievement. But the sprinklers and all the farms, a lot of times I end up with 30, 40 different farms depending on what materials I'm using. I've got another one over here. Let's see. Uh, this one's lithium. 
That's how I'm powering the lithium for this reactor. So the more movement you have, the more leg you can have. So anytime you can eliminate a visual movement, the better off you are. I'm lucky I can have all these visuals and stuff in here because my computer can handle it. But most computers that I've come across, the average computer cannot. And again, I'm not knocking anybody's computer. I'm just stating as a fact, right? When I start adding rooms like this with visual movements all around, right? Like that whole wall is moving. The floor is moving. The ceiling is moving. There's a lot of movement in just this one room. Now I leave it, the visual stops. That helps. But if you have a lot of movements in a specific area, that can lead to a lot of lag. Uh, let's see. Design tile will look a bit. Some auto crafting and then some with melters too. Gotcha. Today for redstone and now everything is all done. And then Lex had recommended that. That's correct. Boy, that was a huge amount of people who popped in here today. Now we're back down to about the regular amount that we're used to seeing. But wow, that was awesome. That, uh, uh, what was his name again? I want to say it was, uh, Lull You Mad. Super nice dude. Popped in and, uh, you know, was uh, sharing his stuff with his people. That's awesome, man. A successful gamer spreading the word for Only Draven Gaming. That's flattering, man. It's nice when someone thinks you make you make stuff good enough they want to share it. That alone is just flattering enough. You know what I'm saying? We're in the last 15 minutes of the stream. I was really hoping this reactor would hit its number before we left. But I don't think it's going to happen. We are so close, man. 91% efficiency. We are so close. Oh, it's killing me. We're going to check it again right before the end of the stream. But I have a feeling we're going to be like within one or two ticks, man. And boy, I wish I knew what toroid size was. That's just frustrating. I don't know what that is. Check fuel. Still at, still at millions. We're good there. How are we doing for diamond? Diamond's still going well. It helps that we're not using much right now. That's shooting up. Hydrogen's good. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Deuterium's going good. Soon to be 6 a.m. Time to sleep. Hey, Kick, thanks for hanging with us, bud. Thank you for joining back up to the membership program. I really appreciate that and appreciate your support. You've been with me a long time, and I appreciate that. And you know what? Again, thank you very much uh, for your service. I know that you're not in my country, but you're going to be joining your military here very soon. I wish you all the best of luck. Uh, but most importantly, I look forward to seeing you return home safely at the end of your tours. All right? Be safe out there. I wish I had a time to get you an only driven sticker and put on your helmet. I take that back. Most militaries probably would not allow that. <laughs> but be safe out there, man. Don't be a hero. Everybody, you're already a hero just for joining. All right? Play it safe. I mean that. Come back home to us. All right? And have yourself a great night, boss. 91.3. Oh, we're so close. Yeah, I turned this off because I don't need the power at this point. Let's talk power. For those of you, let me show you what I'm talking about. Where's my uh, shrinky dink? Induction matrix. So I have, I'm using induction matrix as my power storage. I probably should have made it a little bit bigger now that I'm, what I'm doing, but it's full, man. It is full of 1.33 TRF. Now, if you don't know how much 1.33 TRF, don't worry. I don't either. No frickin' clue. But I know it's a lot. It's a whole lot. And even with all my machines running off of this, I'm producing power faster than I'm draining it, so it's staying full the whole time. Uh, and this isn't even the biggest you can make, and the components inside aren't the best components. They're the second best. You could have this hold way more power. I just didn't think I'd ever fill it. Good night to you, Kick. Safe travels, my friend. Where am I? Oh, here I am. So what do you guys think about my room idea? Like I said, I, I've built something like this before. But it looks really cool when it gets done. I'm very, very happy. I'm going to do a little bit more for the last 10 minutes or so. While we're kind of just hanging out here a little bit, chatting. I didn't know what to do. All those people showed up, man. <laughs> I was like, there's way more people than I'm used to seeing. How do I be entertaining to this many people? <laughs> I 
It was awfully cool, though. It's a cool experience. It's very rare we get that many people pop by, but it's awfully nice when they do. Especially everybody was so friendly. You know what I mean? Everybody was so nice. That's the best part. Sometimes not everybody's nice when they show up. Sometimes I gotta block and ban people, and, you know, I don't like to do that. Let's see. Let's get one up here and one here. Come on. Break it. The moon juice is making it harder to break. That is not what I wanted to happen. Okay, we have to do that slightly differently then. Okay. I gotta get in here and fix that. How am I gonna fix it? Let me see, we'll do it this way. And we'll do it this way. Okay, now it's taking too long. No! That's way wrong! Oh, that's in zero. Why is it at zero? I can sit down. Let me get that. No, stop. Pushing me with your current. Okay, dude was right. Whoever said that earlier, I'm going to get my party pickaxe because this is taking too long. In the juice, it takes longer. And it still hasn't disappeared. That one there. And then that, that one should be glass. And then this one should be there. There we go. A little bit more clogged in the corner than I prefer, but it'll get the job done. So I don't know if anybody else, uh, you know, I, I play Seven Days to Die a lot. Taking a bit of a hiatus because I played it so much over the last couple of years. But um, I love Seven Days to Die. And they're releasing a new Seven Days to Die. Where it's Seven Days to Die. But it's like uh, it's kind of like a mixture between Seven Days to Die and... Uh, what's that game you play where you're, you're trying to fix the generators before the killer catches you and puts you on a hook? You know what I'm talking about? I can't think of the name of that game right now. Uh, but it's like that game. So basically, four people are trying to survive the zombie thing. And one person is the zombie lord who's attacking and sending the zombies. So you have a certain amount of time to prep before the zombie lord can release his peoples on you, his zombies. And they attack on Horde Knight. It looks very cool, and I had no idea they were working on it. Uh, I it's not out yet. When it comes out, I will definitely get it because I think the fun pimps make good stuff. I wish. What in the world? Just that's not. I wish that they didn't take twenty years to get a game out of frickin' alpha. Seven Days to Die has been what an alpha or beta now. I've been playing it twelve years. I want to say ten years, and it's still an alpha. Like, come on, man! At some point, put the game out. <laughs> Yes, that's what it was. Thank you. Dead by Daylight. You are correct. That's the one. Uh, I have friends who play that game. I don't. I own it, but I've never played it. Oh, son of a bitch. I just finished beating Days Gone. Uh, amazing game. I cannot tell you how much I enjoyed that game. I mean, I'm going to tell you, but you know what I mean. I was, I've owned the game for like a year and a half. I got it like a Steam summer sale. Not this past summer, but the summer before. And uh, I was like, oh, I like zombie games. Maybe I'll like this one day. Holy hell, was that a good game. It was The, st the writing in the game was, was the bomb. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it bums me out that I don't know if I'll ever see a sequel. There's so much room for a sequel. They left it so open for sequels. No! See, what's happening is I'm dropping it before the block is breaking because of some lag in this room. All the moon juice is causing a little bit of lag even for me. It can happen. See, I broke that brick. Now I'm just waiting for it to disappear. Disappear. I did break it, didn't I? Yeah, there it is. 
Um, but yes, Days Gone phenomenal. I love zombie games. Love anything that's zombie based. And so uh, uh, it's just it's my genre. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I usually do the roof last, but I like to start it as I'm coming across. Boy, the ground breaks way easier. Sure, now it breaks nicely. Mm -hmm. All right, we got about four minutes left. Let's go check on our actor. Uncharted and the Marvel Spider Man. Are they on PC? I think Uncharted is. I don't know if the Marvel Spider-Man is. It might be. I don't know, to be honest. No achievement yet. 92%. It will slow down the closer we get to 100. That, that I remember. All right, here's what's going to happen. The stream ends. I'm going to shut the game off. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to fire it up, and I'm not going to click on this all day. All day long. I'm just going to let it run. I'll finish this room. And get it done. And then tomorrow we'll do a... We'll hopefully get this achievement. And then we'll do a matter overdrive reactor. And then when that's done, we're close to finished. I don't know what I'm going to do about this cobblestone. Or netherrack, I mean. That and that. Those are the two. I'm not sure how I'm going to speed those up at this point. We've actually gone through this pack a lot faster than normal just because I've done it so many times. I've streamlined a lot of these processes. But, man, I had a good time. What am I building in the rune room? So I don't really have anything specific I want to do with it. Uh, I really like the way this room looks. I've built smaller rooms like this in the past, and I kind of wanted to build a big one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, if anything. But it's still, I, I'm doing it more for just the visual effect. Plus, I've been working on achievements so long, I just wanted to build something, you know? Something that looks kind of snazzy. But tomorrow, we'll hopefully get this achievement, which means all we need is compressed netherrack, black hole unit, and matter overdrive. And we will work on matter overdrive tomorrow. That's an easy one. I just have to go back and figure out and remember how to move a gravitational anomaly. Because I have forgotten. But we'll do that. Clear out a space for that. We'll build the matter overdrive reactor. Uh, and then we're pretty much done with this playthrough. So I don't know if we'll have everything done tomorrow. We may have to play at least one more day next week on Sunday. But I wouldn't be surprised if by next Monday... We were starting our new pack. Uh, again, unless somebody comes up with something else they want me to do in here that I haven't done yet that intrigues me. Which can happen. People give me cool challenges sometimes. Uh, I would like to say super awesome thank you so much to everybody who came and hang out with us today with a super duper giant thank you for LOLU Mad for showing up and sharing my stream in... Uh, his or her socials and uh, racking up almost 200 viewers at one point. That's unheard of for this channel. So I really do appreciate that. And a few people subscribed and hung around for a while. So I appreciate that as well. Uh, also, a special thank you to Kick uh, for resubbing up to the membership. Uh, and thank you to everybody who donated to the Extra Life charity link posted at the top of the channel. Uh, Teresa Hernandez, our good friend and moderator of this channel. It's her first year streaming and trying to raise money for Extra Life. And uh, I want to say we got uh, like $65 worth of donations for her charity today. So thank you very much for that. That means a lot to me. You know, I do Extra Life as well. I started, I thought about making an Extra Life team. So an Extra Life team is when you have other people who join up under you and all the totals work together towards the common thing. And each person's donations still go to the church, to the specific uh, hospital of their choice that falls within the Miracle Network. Uh, I've always been a member of the Rooster Teeth team. I do it every year. 
Uh, but with Rooster Teeth ending in May, I'm not sure there'll be a Rooster Teeth team anymore. There isn't one currently for me to join. My my uh, my extra life page is set up too, and I've started taking donations. Uh, we have some special. I'm gonna have a special thing coming next month for that. I think no. I'm sorry, it's July. Because next month is my birthday month, so I'm going to do some special stuff for that. June is Animal Charity Month. We're going to try to raise $1,000 in one month for the Friends of Oak Ridge Animal Shelter. Is my goal this year. And then July, we're going to be dedicating... We're going to do two charity months back-to-back. -back. July, we're going to be having our mid-year Extra Life Charity Stream uh, month. So, got a lot of cool charity opportunities for folks who would like to help support some wonderful causes. This is money that did not come to me. It goes to charities. Um, so we're going to have some of those coming up. But I thought about making my own team. And then those people who are streaming for Extra Life can join up under our team. And uh, uh, we all kind of work together as a group. Uh, your donations still go to your total. They still go to your hospital. I'm not quite all sure what perks come with being in a group. I've just, Rooster Teeth is how I learned about Extra Life and why I started doing it, so I've always been a member of their team. I'll look into it a little bit more. It'd be cool to have some other people. I start a team and, and have some other folks join up who do that as well. Maybe I should build a stream team. What do you think? Twitch uses those a lot. Stream teams. People who work together in a stream community. X stream community. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. All right. We are so close. We will have this tomorrow. But it is after 11. That's going to do me for today. Again, thank you every single one of you for coming by and hanging out with me today. I had an exceptionally good time on tonight's stream. Uh, thank you for making me drink shots. I appreciate that. But uh, most importantly, thank you for help supporting some wonderful causes. Uh, and special thank you again to everybody who came by and said hi. And all the new folks brought to us uh, by a new friend of the channel, uh, uh, Lol You Mad. I want to make sure I get his name right. He was also all very nice of him to share his community with us. So, you folks have yourself a wonderful evening. I will be back here tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for some more hot, hot Minecraft action, uh, and maybe even finishing up this pack. We'll have to see. All right. Make sure you click like if you had a good time or you like me even just a little bit. Be sure to subscribe. Go to my website, OnlyDraven.com. Link to all my socials, my Discord, and the ODG store. You can get cool ODG merch. Uh, and, you know, enjoy your week. Tomorrow's Monday, which always sucks. Uh, hopefully it goes well for you, though. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.